Internet Radio, The Final Frontier. These are the continuing broadcasts of Firefox News Online. Its ongoing mission, to bring you news and information, to seek out the truth, and to boldly go where no internet radio broadcast has gone before. way to start it off but can't do a show proper like unless I get some people to join me so let's see if we can get one of my loyal listeners to join in the conversation Speaking of, hello, Mike. I have my hands full. Oh, hello. sorry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. I stopped off at, I had three minutes to spare. I stopped off at number one Chinese over here. And I uh, got myself Chinese spaghetti combination. And uh, that's it. Hi, how are you? I'm so sorry to hear about your brother. I, I, my condolences. Uh, I wish you and your family all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I hope everything's all right. Look at him. It's a little, little hard to accept all those, those things happening. Uh, what, they drove off. She, she said you drove off a bridge. Yeah. Did they find out? Was it uh, just up in the mountains? It was. No, they was in the uh, close to the river. They make a barbecue. Oh my Some God. Other with our friends. It was here. His wife and his little kid, oh my God. seven years old, and uh, his other friend too. It was four people in the car. Oh man! So, so we don't know really what's exactly happening. Oh, in the police uh, report to say now it's, I think something is like uh, in the car. Someone, someone's uh, maybe it's a problem the with the car. Yep. Oh Jesus! Say because it was very hard. He oh. hit that to the bridge and uh, flipped the car to the. Oh, the, the car went into the river. Yeah. And then uh, go like a um, mile, mile and a half is down going the water. water. Yeah. And the first body, what I, they find was my brother. He uh -huh. was all the time he uh, going in the back to sit. He loved the, the place where uh, when we go anywhere. Oh man! And uh, his wife was in the front, and the uh, other friend was driving. The little kid was in the, in the seat. I'm sorry. I'm so all sorry. All of those passed away, so it's hard now. I gotta talk to my sister. Uh, Yes, it's very no. yeah. All right, I'll, I'll talk to you later on. Thank you. Max, get back in the house. Come on, get back in the house. What are you gonna do? There was a, a gentleman of, <clears throat> of color that was over, standing over by uh, where the gas station is, but close to the house, you know, George, where I am? Mm -hmm. And uh, he was standing on the sidewalk, it looked like he was talking to himself, but I guess he had an earbud in too, so he was talking to somebody on the phone, but he, where they parked their cars, the house next to me. But I wanted to have the door open because I'm unloading the car and I want Max to be there. So I finally got yelled at the guy. I said, Good evening. Are you, you, do you plan on walking by this building anytime soon? And he took one look at Max next to me and went, No, man, that's okay. Okay. And he walked over to the gas station. <laughs> but you were talking about the Jeffers brother and four of them in the car. And they went off the bridge in Italy. Oh, I wow. Guess, did, did you hear him when he was talking to me? Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, 
It was kind of hard to hear him at times because I heard Max barking in the background. But I was able yeah. to hear him for the most part. Hey, Tony. Good evening. How's Tony. everybody? Good. Good, good, good. This fucking storm in Texas is something else, huh? Yeah, the, uh, that was one comment from somebody. They had put a picture up of it. They said it's a good way to find out if your product sucks, Frito-Lay. It showed the potato chip aisle completely <coughs> sold out, except for one. You know those experimental flavors that Frito-Lay's been coming out with? Mm -hmm. Like yeah. barbecue. I mean, how much to expect 36 inches of rain? You're cutting out. That stuff was that was up. Should be a heads up to Frito Lay's that their product, that flavored shit, sucks. Nobody wants it because people are buying everything at the market. They're buying shit out like crazy. Yeah, yeah. When the supermarket's empty. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, that that should that should tell them right there. Uh, this product sucks. Nobody wanted it. Yeah. During a hurricane, nobody even bought your shit. Drop that. Absolutely right. But I was hoping they'd have some live feeds on because they said it's, it's hitting now at Hinfall. So the reports should be coming in. Well, uh, Fox, Fox, uh, Fox and wide, uh, was showing something about it. Um, in fact, uh, we're about to, we're going to be joined in a few minutes, uh, by native Texan and resident listener, Gunslinger. I'm just dialing him up now. He should be with us any second. And here he is. Hey, Gun, what's happening, man? How's everything down there in Texas? Oh, it's nice and calm here. Uh, I think we'll get some rain out of it eventually. It's going to start tracking. No, fly no, no flying Mexicans going by your windows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think there's flying Mexicans down there. I came, I came across, I think it's like 150 mile an hour winds up to up to 150. So they, some of them Mexicans may, may, you know, drift this far. You know, the American are terrible these days, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they said a lot of Mexicans are going to try to get into the wind pattern across the border so they can actually take the hurricane across the border. Yeah, well, that, that, well uh, it'll be easier for them. <laughs> but they're expecting anywhere, they're expecting anywhere from thirty to forty inches of rain over the next couple of days. Wow! And I just I, here's a if you turn on the chat well, you chat room, here's a live coverage of, from the local weather station news station here. Already got one. They already got collapsing buildings. There are people trapped, missing. 127 had to be evacuated out of one hotel where it collapsed. Okay. Wow. Schools, schools collapsed. Don't know. They don't even know if there's any people trapped in it or not. Yeah. You, know, you know, I'm not surprised. I mean, the quality of construction today. I don't care what the fuck they say. No, we have codes. Your codes are useless. Every, everything today, including construction, comes down to making a buck. And the they don't build lane. shit the way they and I the said to our and the old armories. They don't build them like that. hit a, a puddle? Yeah, like or, and, and, so, uh, surprise. Yeah. So you think, it, and these, these are say, in the old days, they used to build shit so that if there was a storm, you could use them as a bomb shelter, for God's sake. No more. Forget it. Yeah, it was steel and plaster. Now it's plastic and Paper. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, WFAA.com uh, uh, is doing a live thing right now. Uh, 
I can't do I can't do anything to bring up the live feed audio wise uh, until the computer the other computer's done uh, with its scan. But once that's once that scan the scans are done, I can I can pull it up. But according to this, it, it, Hurricane Harvey um, making landfall, and the size and scope of this storm is like whoa. I mean, it literally covers like two-thirds of uh, the area. And it looks well, like... It looks like there's a... Um, uh, a second storm uh, developing inland uh, just just off to the right on the, on the map. Really? Yeah, not a, not a hurricane storm. This is an in, this storm wow. is inland. Um... I'm gonna see if I can if I can get my hand to stop shaking long enough to get the right uh, the right stuff uh, out of my way here. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna go to a telecast uh, and see if I can get a, a a better view of what I'm looking at here. They're almost comparing it to Tr Tr Katrina. Katrina. Yeah, yeah they are. Two thousand five or whenever it was, <clears throat> but this thing is supposed to because of the weather pattern down here in South Texas. It's supposed to sit there and stall. Yeah. Okay, for about until I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, and then it's supposed to make a curve hook and go up to Houston and dump more fucking rain on Houston. What's the one of that fucking Houston don't get don't, don't get washed out to the fucking ocean? That's wow. Where rains so fucking much down there. I've never seen a place that it rains so goddamn much as Houston, Texas. And I've been down there when it's fucking raining like that. God almighty damn. All right. Uh, for those of you uh, on you, they're they're watching on watching me on YouTube. Uh, sorry about the black screen for for a, for a while there. Uh, I know that you are able to hear That's the racist. broadcast. Will you? That's racist. Yeah, with that. A rainbow, a rainbow screen or a white screen? No, no, no. We don't. No, we don't want rainbow. No, 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 no. no. We don't want rainbow. I'm I could have. Put, I could have put up a green yeah, screen, but but then that's, then that's then the, then the Martians would have it's gotten offended. Telling us something about you. Yep, yeah, that's it. I'm offended. Pay me. Give me a million dollars, and I'll, I'll be okay. <laughs> Well, the Martians would have gotten offended if I had used a green screen, so, you know. But, <sighs> uh, so you see the you see the new shit that came out with uh, Huffington Post today? They really uh, got the veterans all pissed off. Oh? Huffington, Huffington Post says that when you go into the military, the military trains you to be racist when you come out. <laughs> oh, boy. What the fuck? Um, just to let everybody know, uh, the the storm is, is is by the looks of it Corpus Christi. From Corpus Christi to San Antonio, Austin, and Houston, that's the circumference of the of this of this storm. Literally blanketing those areas. The eye of the storm is just outside of Corpus Christi. Uh, in fact, it's it's the eye of the storm is just over Rockport. So, if you live in Corpus Christi, Rockport, uh, let me see here. Hold on a second. I'm trying to get my eyes to actually focus on this so I can see it better. Uh, Sinton, Beeville, Port, Lavaca, Victoria, Ad Edna, Bay City, El Campo, Yoakum, Kuro, Gonzalez, all these, all these towns that I just mentioned are pretty much being hit by this storm. The outer edge of the storm of this hurricane is hitting areas like uh, Pleasanton, 
just 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 touching San Antonio, uh, right up right up through uh, Cedar around Cedar Creek. Houston is, is has a heavy ban from this storm on the outer edge, and by the looks of the direction of this storm, if I'm reading this right, and I'm gonna open the storm, I'm gonna you know, the storm track isn't gonna help me there. Um, but yeah, this this storm is. Uh, <coughs> The, the eye of it is right now over Rockport. She's a big storm, that's for sure. Yeah, it's pretty good size because I'm 125 miles from Austin, so it'll, it'll, it's going to give us some rain. Then it'll give us no wind or anything, but it'll probably give us some rain. I imagine once it curls over to starts northward up. You know, up to Houston and everything. I'd like to go through one of them if I could have a concrete building, or it would be make sure it won't flood. Or, or I don't know the flooding. You. Yeah, I think the flooding is going to be the biggest issue. <clears throat> something you know, something tall that you know would that would withstand it. You know. I'd like to go through a hurricane. I think that'd be pretty cool. Gentlemen, yeah. we have just been joined by the host of Crazy Nation Radio, Ron Reck, <coughs> who was supposed to get in touch with me, I thought, today to let me know what's going on, but never heard from him. What's the matter with you, Ron? It was that nap thing that came on to me. For shame, for shame, for shame. Well, golly, oh, Sergeant Carter. Golly. Shazam. Pile. <laughs> no, I took a nap and, wow. Going that was a long-ass nap, boy, I tell you. Yeah, I went to, I took a nap about 7 o'clock, man. I just woke up, just got up. Ah, well, it's a good thing I, 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 I decided to do this. Well, I was great to pull you on Skype. I seen you on there. Hear that Texas wind, Jesus. Yeah, that Texas wind is blowing. Uh, I can hear it over Same. from, from uh, Gunslinger there. Or is that your fan blowing? <laughs> Probably my fan blowing. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like he's getting ready to do the weather report for the weather ch weather channel. Yeah, there we go. I'm just <laughs> I'm just I'm just practicing for the wind, but you know. Yeah, Connie. Right now we're standing right in the middle of Corpus Christi, Texas. What's left of it, it used to be, but uh. <laughs> yeah, I I, 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 you know, I. I... What was that about the schools and 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 other structures? They they just kind of took a pounding. One school's collapsed, and another structure, a motel or something, had to evacuate 120 some, 130 some people so far. They don't know whether there's someone missing or how much the injury or whatever. But it's gonna get worse, I bet you. <laughs> well, wouldn't common sense tell you to leave way ahead of time? You've been warned the fuckers coming. <laughs> yeah, like, like that. stick it, you know. Fuck them. People like that get killed and died. I care. Fuck unless they're too stupid. Fuck you. Stick around. Dumbasses. Well, just what I just said. I, if, I'd like to. I'd like to go through a hurricane if I was in a concrete structure, and it wouldn't collapse or flood. It'd be mm -hmm. kind, of, kind of neat. You know, have observation windows. You know, bulletproof glass, all that shit. All right. All right. Just watch it. And watch you go by. I've never been through a hurricane, but through a tornado. But never been through a hurricane. <laughs> been through a few tornadoes in my life. <clears throat> Can't say I like them. <laughs> no, it's not my favorite ones. <laughs> No, not at all. At least with hurricanes, you you know they're coming, and you got days of warning. Yeah, but you don't. You yeah. got minutes of warning. <laughs> but people have that theory of listening to um, the still effect as well. You know, fucking them weathermen are fucking liars. You know, they say it's going to rain. It don't do shit, and they say it's going to be sunny and it rains, and it's always opposite of what they say. I don't believe them until I see it type of shit. You know. Well. All, all, all weathermen really are, 
are a bunch of scientific scientist guys that get paid a lot of money to sit there and go, and they, and they should be saying it like this. I'll tell uh, to be honest with you, they should be saying. Well, I guess it's going to rain tomorrow, and I guess it's going to be sunny and mild, and I think it might actually snow eventually. You know, that's, that, that's, that, that's what the, how they should be forecasting the weather. Instead of sitting there going, tomorrow will be this, that, or the other, to, the, and, on, and on Saturday... Sunday will be this, that, or the other. And you know what? Just sit there and tell people the truth. I don't have a fucking clue. Okay? Well, I think I got the best thing. I got a weather rock. When it's wet, it's raining. <laughs> when it's dry, it's warm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no. When <clears throat> it's dry, it, it, it means it's not raining. How do you tell when it's, it's, that it's warm out unless you touch the rock? Cause it's dry. Ah. Well, you know, but, hey, we get we. But how do you tell if it's weather. cold? We hit. Wait a minute. We we hit if it's if it's got ice on it, or if oh. it's got you know. Oh, okay. You know, icicles on it. You know, it's cold out. But yeah. we had one of those. Uh, they had one. <laughs> they had one at the little airport up here, Lancaster Airport, one time when we went. We usually go out there with that pilot friend of mine flying out there, and they said all it had a list of everything that, that Ron just said, and they said. Rock gone, tornado. Get it? Rock gone, tornado. <laughs> these these yeah. are solos. You're gonna as you're driving through like New Mexico and Arizona, they called Indian weather rocks, and they're they're pretty funny. Uh, and they they got them set up on a they have three sticks on a tripod with the rock hanging there. No they're shit. The most common ones that I've seen. Yeah. And um, oh you know they're, they're setting a little, a little plaque so you keep it on your desk, and it says you know instructions, and it, it's shit. pretty funny. Shit. Damn, you never know who got pardoned by Trump. A little bit. Yeah, Sheriff, Sheriff Arpaio. Yeah, I just I'm just going to say the deal from Fox News. I'll be damned. Yep, and Preet and Preet Bahara came out and said. Uh, this is highly unusual. You're supposed to wait this much time until after he's been sentenced and everything else. And and this was wrong. And but Clinton, the way Clinton pardoned so and so was also wrong. But this is worse. <coughs> well, Preet Bharara's got a hard on for Trump now. That's oh, what yeah. that shows. So, yeah, he's, yeah. so he's gonna the media is gonna go to him and say, "What's your take on this? Quick, give us some dirt." So that's how it works. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a lot of them. A lot of them complain that most presidents wait to pardon people until right before they leave office, and they're very upset that. Yeah, but there, but there, there's no, pardoned. there's no real criteria for pardoning anyone. I mean, it doesn't. It, there's nothing in the Constitution or or in writing that says they have to wait until they're they're almost out of office to do that shit. I mean, that's. I mean, let, let's you know. That that's just that's just the way it is. I mean, a president can pardon someone if they so choose at any time during their presidency. So all these fuckers that are that are bitching about it, you know, they they just don't get it. They want to believe, oh well, you're not supposed to do that until near until you're almost out of office. Really? Says who? Who the yeah, fuck it's said that? Already. It's getting boring already that they they're just they're not getting used to President Trump doing whatever the fuck he wants if he feels it's right and legal. No. Here's the thing, Tony. Like like I've like I've said uh, a lot in the a lot before on this broadcast. The simple fact is, the Democrats. You know, they're sitting there bitching and moaning, whining and complaining about every little thing that he does because their bitch cut whore, Hillary Clinton, didn't win the election. No wonder all them calls off. And I hear a whole lot of racket. Somebody having a conversation in the background. I had to turn off CNN. Uh, go right from the fucking complaining. You know on and again going about it. Trump's this one and, and gender. Man. 
$30,000. Look, it's real simple. Okay? They're going to bitch about that. They're going to bitch about a lot of things. What do you mean? No matter what it is, Tony, they're going to bitch about it. They, they have to find fault in everything. I'm, I'm willing to bet that if he were to be on, if, on, on, on camera live from the Oval Office and he farted, they'd probably bitch about that too. That woman deserves it. For eight years, as opposed to Obama, never listen, not, not very much listening to his military advisors. Well, Trump, uh, Trump Paul, that's not listening. I was looking at his books, his money. I said, Grandpa. Ron, we can hear Ron. you. Ron. Ron. What? what? We Ron? can he hear is. you. We don't live over there. Fuck them Israeli cocksuckers. Yo, Rick. Mute yourself. But he donated money to him. Donate oh, that for the love of Christ. I'm an Ethiopian. I'm an Ethiopian. <laughs> Give no oh man! You know, I wish people would learn. If they're not, I don't have control over muting people's mics. Yeah, it's not like Blog forward. Talk Radio. So if they're going to have a conversation, mute your, mute them. They should mute their mic. So this way, other folks don't have to get talked over by somebody being rude and having a conversation in the background. And he can't even hear us. He probably took his head. He's probably got his headset off his head. Could be. He's not even looking at the screen. That's your fault, not mine. I'm sorry. Ransom West and fucking tear down a form on a hole about the size. Jesus Christ! Oh come on, Rick! I'm about to hang up on his ass. Can you drop him off the call and let him call back in when he's ready? Yeah, just exactly. Call, call his phone. Uh, that's yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm just going to drop Rick off the call because call that's in. that's that's wrong. Call. He he should have muted his mic. Yeah. What are we going to do? Oh, he seems to be quiet now. Maybe he's back. No, I mean, I I hung up on him. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> that's the safest way. And then when he's ready, he'll call back in. I don't think he was just dropped. I just told him in the chat room, had to drop you from the call. When you're ready, return. <sighs> Shit. But yeah, no, the, these 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 dumbass fuckers have to have anything and everything to complain about. Like I was saying, Tony, because the way they see it is, their bitch cunt whore Clinton, since she didn't win the election, they're going to be pissy about it. So they're going to attack him on every little teeny tiny thing. And like I said, if he were to have a press conference from the Oval Office, one good fart and they'd probably bitch about that too. Wow, bitch con hua, that's, that's pretty. <laughs> hey, I don't mince words, man. I ain't politically correct either. I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, no, you don't. If that bitch, cunt, whore, twat-faced little shit, Hillary Clinton don't like it, she can Jeez, kiss my re my Royal American Red Rosie Cherokee Indian ass. I'll even mark the spot. <laughs> I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm an equal opportunity fuck you offender. If you fuck up, I'm going to tell you about it in spades. If you do okay by him, if you if you do okay, I'll be more than happy to say so but she ain't done shit right she ain't nothing but a piece of shit and that's all she'll ever be so i'm just saying so i figure like this <coughs> she wrote a book right what happened still bitching and moaning in her book that 
blaming everybody else but herself. Wow, I'm not impressed. I could write a book too. And you know what the title of that book would be? How Hillary fucked up her own campaign. Probably be a bestseller. Probably make the New York Times bestseller list if I'm real lucky. But Mike, you were saying something about how how um, um yeah about the about the Huffington Post Huffington Post yeah I mean you expect anything less from those fucking those fucking morons I bet you could find I'm downstairs otherwise I give you the link for it. If you type in Huffington Post racist, I'm sure the article will come right up. It's the newest one. Uh, Let me see here. Open Sesame. Ooh, it worked. Let's see here. Huffington Post racist. Train passengers defend elderly elderly Asian couple from racist tirade. Trump pardons former sheriff Joe Arpaio, who illegally targeted Latinos. American racism. Charlottesville provides another example of the never-ending, here we go again. Are you on Facebook? Am I on Facebook? Of For course, I'm on radio. Facebook, sir. I sent him. I, I, I sent him on the. I sent. I, I sent Mo Abbey you know, the link, and he put it on his page. You, you sent what? Where? Mo A B Radio. M O A B Radio. Oh, Moab Radio. Yeah, I sent it to him earlier, and he put it on his page right away. Well, because that radio station, most of the guys are prior service and active, you know, so I knew that that would, I know he'd hit that and go, what? Boy, they're really messing with him. People are reporting him to Facebook. People are, all the liberals are reporting him to Facebook, reporting him to YouTube. They're giving him one star. They're trying to really complain. They're hoping that Facebook shuts him down. So he sent me a message and said, Mike, give me five stars. Anybody you know, give me five stars. So, George, I know you did it. Thanks for doing that to keep that guy alive. I don't even know how I did it, to be honest with you. (laughs) I did, too. I went over and started or whatever it is. Big stars. But that's that's the Liberals' game. game. See, if if you had the the exposure that he has, like, really pushing it on Facebook and everything, and you don't, you're not out there, but he's out there. He's really out there fighting these guys and he's on he's active on like tea party websites conservative websites and so and the liberals they fish through that shit and they see that the minute they see that it's like okay target let's fry this guy let's put him out of business that's how they do it we don't like what you're saying we'll shut you down sneaky fucks (coughs) thank goodness you don't have that problem He might be a good one for, to get on to interview him, Big Sarge, because he only does a couple shows a week. I mean, he does a Monday night for an hour or so, and then Saturday night at 10 o'clock at night, he does a show. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> God bless you again. <laughs> uh, oh, shit, you're allergic to BTR. You know they got medicine for that shit. I'm, you, know, you know what it is? I, I, there's there must be a liberal nearby because I'm allergic to liberal bullshit. That could be it too. That could be it. Ugh. Is there a rash? Or, do you have a rash on your arms? 
No. I just have I just have a lot I just have a bad tickle in my sinuses. That's usually a liberal going, We're trying to change your mind. We're trying to change your mind. Yeah. That's funny. I I put in five stars. I thought you did. I thought you wrote done when I put it in the thing for asking everybody to well, give me five star and you wrote done. Yeah, I love to know where it went because I see yours, I see Julie's, it. I don't see mine. Oh, then click it. I did. I even went great show, need more like it, but it wouldn't let me send it. I wonder if the I wonder if Facebook is fucking with him like on that stuff too. They stopped him from sharing any articles for twenty four hours a couple days ago. They said you you've shared too many articles. They're really coming after him. They don't want to hear it. They don't want you talking. Yeah, I, I'm just glad that they don't. You, you know what it is? I, I'm I kind of I kind of fly under the radar because I don't do the Facebook Live thing for my broadcast. So I think I fly under the radar for a lot of these liberal fuckheads that don't you know that are out there. Um, Assholes. Did you see the article on his page for Huffington Post about veterans being racist? Here, I'm trying to find it. Upcoming events. Ah, becoming a racist: the unfortunate side effect of serving your country. Yep. Oh, brother, folks! What you're about to hear is the is from the Huffington Post. The views and opinions that are coming from this article are that of the Huffington Post. The biggest liberal shitbag on the planet. One of the biggest shitbags on the planet, I should say. Now, this came out the 17th of August, and it was updated the day after. This was a this had to, this came out around the time of the uh, Charlottesville thing. Now, according to this, now get this, folks. This is the this is how a liberal rag is written. One of the more shocking things to learn about the white nationalist rally in Charlottesville this past week was not that they blamed the protesters for the death of Heather, Heather Hare. As stupefying a statement as that is, you expect crowds like that to shift the blame away from themselves whenever possible. After all, the entire white power and neo-Nazi movement is based on blaming someone else for your problems. Sounds like a liberal, doesn't it? In an interview with CNN's Anderson Cooper, asshole, Vice News, Ellie, Re Ellie Reeve, El Ellie Re <laughs> let me try that again, Ellie Reeve, mentions that security for the neo-Nazis was not provided by the Charlottesville police, as one might expect, but by veterans of the Iraq-Afghan war. To hear that these veterans claim they were radicalized in Iraq and Afghanistan during their tours of duty is one of the more unfortunate things to come to light regarding the side effects of serving your country. By now, we're all familiar with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and even with proper treatment, the debilitating state can leave a returning soldier in sometimes for the rest of their lives. But to learn that these brave men and women over there return with a newfound hatred for those different from them especially after their mission is one of liberation from those who kill and persecute anyone of different faiths 
slash beliefs is quite disturbing to say the least. My uncle was a lieutenant in the NYPD for over 40 years. He was a kind of a kind and loving man, unfortunately patrolling the streets of Brooklyn patrolling the streets of the Bronx, I'm sorry, and Queens during the 60s and 70s and seeing what human beings are capable of doing to each other left him with a prejudice towards minorities. Now, not that he would say or do anything in public that would offend anyone. He was always a gentleman on the surface and treated everyone with respect. In private, however, he would occasionally make offhanded comments when discussing politics, complete with a racial slur or two, that would catch me off guard. As to hear someone of such intelligence and valor, someone who I respected and cared for immensely, have such a distorted view, and to speak in, general, in generalizations about an entire race of people was sad. Is that because most of the criminals he had to deal with on a regular basis were the people he was talking about? I'm sorry, I don't know. Did, should, I, should I have said that? I uh, don't know. Well, yeah. You know, I mean... Could have, Yo, man, I'm offended. You somebody got pay me. Somebody pay me, man. I'm offended, yo. Ron in the what chat the room. Fuck, man. Ron in the chat room says I'm back. He's back. Ron in the chat room. Ron in the chat room. Ron in the chat room. Come visit us. Because the the, the majority of the people he had to pull his weapon out on were the minorities that. People don't want to admit. Admit that, but you know what? If you let them ride with some of the cops and let them deal with them, and see what some of these minorities that they're what they out there, their this society that they've created, let them see how it runs. Let them see the attitudes of these people that live there. These poor people, I'm sure. You're breaking up, Mike. A lot of people don't. They're not happy about having to live under those. That's how it is. I mean, they don't want to admit it, but that's how it is. Yeah, because they, they never themselves had to live in that type of community with them. No. Or, or go to school with them or anything. They've been living in their milk and cookie world most of their life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, Ron... <clears throat> uh, yes. The reason I dropped you from the call is because we could hear your conversation over everyone else, and well, I tried to get your attention. So did Mike, and I think a couple, uh, one of the one or two of the other guys, and you had your headset off. So, but, but you were, but you were, you were discussing you were going to give a thousand dollars to Israel. That's very impressive. I, we applaud that, and good for you. I, I think that's yeah. a good thing. Huh? Well, no, oh, I gonna, didn't do. I did not oh. do that. No. Oh, I no, thought you I were going to do it. You said. <clears throat> no, I was just somebody else I know did it. Oh shit! <clears throat> <clears throat> to help a church out thing, you know, they got you know they fell into the trap of that bullshit. So to help the people in Israel or the church in Israel, I gave them a thousand bucks. Well, well. Yeah, that's what I said. As long as it wasn't my money, I care less. Um, what the hell is that church over there trying to help to save the fucking world bullshit? Day star or some shit. I have no idea. Another con job. They conned him out of $1,000, I call it. <coughs> Excuse me. 
it's just like most of them them con jobs that you know donate to feed the hungry children of of yeah. Africa and all that shit. You think them fucking kids ever goddamn get any of that fucking money? <laughs> well, you remember that time I said that one time? It was during last <coughs> Christmas I said it because they get run all those fucking ads. I said it would it would it would be cheaper for me to feed a black kid than it would be to feed a fucking dog because I could feed a black kid over in Africa or some other starving country for 50 cents a day. But Sarah McLaughlin with the ASPCA said that I had to give 75 cents a day to save a dog. <clears throat> so I donated 75 cents on the dog. Nah, what the hell? So it's cheaper to feed a black person than it is to feed a dog. You all remember that. If they even get, the, even if they get the money, I mean, which I doubt. No, you know, they, 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 they get maybe a fucking nickel out of every fucking do- dollar spent or donated to him. You know. Oh yeah. They don't. They don't see that shit. They don't. No. They don't see it. None of it does. <clears throat> no. If, put it this way: big nonprofits that run these fucking ads on TV, they can afford that kind of advertising. They got money to blow. You know. Oh yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Just like the fucking. They send- the- Good. They send out mailing packages to people like oh. like my grandmother, my grandmother, the elderly who uh, sympathize with this type of thing, and they ask. And I used to bitch at my grandmother. You send them twenty dollars a fucking month. You you pay twenty dollars for this fucking picture they sent you. That's what you pay yeah. for. Right, it didn't cost them a fucking two cents to print. Um, you know. <laughs> That they attack the elderly. They do. Them motherfuckers go directly for the elderly. It's like my, my folks. My folks are in their eighties, man, and they get so much bullshit in the mailbox. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's like Jesus, man. I'm about ready to put a loading dock in out here so the mail company just back up and dump all the shit out that way instead of using my mailbox. But yeah, I tell you. Matter of fact. You make sure they send you a picture with the, the fucking child in the mud with flies on her face, you yeah. know, like chain uh, around her neck, chain around her neck, and all kind of shit. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking break, <Brit>, yeah. <laughs> they really get you fucking crying for them, man. You know, the handcuff marks and oh yeah, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's it's kind of fucking. Um, it's something. <clears throat> God damn it. This has not been my day today. Why did you have a hurricane land in your backyard? <laughs> no, I had, well, we had a Subaru out back at the shop there. Had a bunch of problems with it. And the client's a personal friend. And, uh, I, they just they have they was having issues with it. I had to help. Is Subaru still the Japanese version of the Volkswagen, or did they change their engine design yet? Yeah, it's all different. Uh, that was kind of funny. Nobody, not that many people even picked up on that. All it was was a water cooled <laughs> fucking Volkswagen engine. Well, it, it, the the well the um, the Subaru motors. Like the 2.3 liter four cylinder, it kind of looks like the old Carver engines. Yeah, no, the Pancake engine is the Volkswagen. It was around way before the Corvair, but the Pancake engine, where it's yeah. flat, and it was air cooled. That's what right. I was saying. It's right. a knockoff right. of the Volkswagen. All they did was put a water jacket on the fucking thing. Right. Now, the real weird one was the Mazda. Remember the Mazda when they first came out? Right. They were pushing the rotary. Yeah, the rotary engine. Right, it was junk. Yeah, yeah. It was and they junk. said lifetime warranty. Oh, it's got a lifetime warranty. The Wankel engine. I wonder if there's... I haven't seen any of those driving on the road, so I guess they didn't last a lifetime, did they? Right, nah. I don't think so. (laughs) Uh, People forget about all that shit. That was a a design flaw, a rotary engine. you got to be kidding me. No, the Wankel engine. I guess in theory and on paper, uh, all right, it made sense. And Mazda, that's what they... Got themselves on the market. They had a, they they really pushed that, and they offered. People were afraid to buy them, so they offered you a lifetime unlimited fucking warranty on the engine. <clears throat> and people said, "Okay, fuck it, I'll 
take a chance for that. And I had a couple of friends that drove them, had them, and they, they liked them, but I don't think it lasted. I don't think they... I, I did an eBay buy here recently, and it said it's supposed to be delivered by today. And guess where this motherfucker came from? Where? Burlington, Washington. And it still ain't here yet. It got ordered on the 18th, or shipped on the 18th. Wow. It's supposed to be here by today, and it's not here yet. It just hit the Springfield, Missouri post office. But it went to, I bought a Motorola modem router for my computer. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh... It bounced all over Utah, Oregon, Utah. Why did it go to just, Champaign, Illinois? As long as it doesn't doesn't go to Texas. No, it's it's, it's here now. <clears throat> well, if it came to Texas, they just get blown back today at least. Yeah, mm-hmm. sent back to Washington. Sometimes it makes no sense. I'll tell you, I, I, <clears throat> one time I sent a swimming pool to an army chaplain that was stationed in Afghanistan. He got it in four fucking days. No I've shit. Had, I've had mail that took over a week to get to Danbury from me, which is an hour's <laughs> drive away. Yeah. Danbury, <laughs> Connecticut. <laughs> And he even contacted me said, Mike, you just sent that. I said, yeah. He said, it's here. You've got to be kidding me. Four days? Holy sh- I couldn't believe it. That was, I, I guess, maybe because I put chaplain on it or they, I don't know. They rushed it or maybe because he was a chaplain. I, 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 it was a big box, too. But, you know, he set it up in, because uh, he was he was the chaplain for two, two SF bases over there, two special right. forces bases. And. And he gave it to the guys, and they had it for morale. They thought it was hysterical. Could it have something to do with the fact that it was going to a to a military the military base overseas, and that it might have been a what was it uh, an APO or whatever they oh, call it? It was his APO. It's it was his APO. But I've sent other stuff to APOs, and it takes sometimes up to two weeks. And well, look, sure look at look at that look at that shit you got. Uh, th- look at that thing you got the other day. The guy had only sent it the day before. No, yeah, that was weird. Sometimes it makes no sense on shipping. I, I don't get it. Yeah, no, no, like, hey, listen, nothing makes sense in this world. No, it makes no. you wonder if they let it sit on the loading dock for like a week and go. Oh, yeah, oh, absolutely, this it would sit there for weeks. Well, weird. But that four day—that's the record. Oh man. Yeah, it is. Afghanistan? Holy shit. Maybe they give them special treatment. You know, special forces. Maybe they, they go, oh shit, put this through. I don't know. Or the timing just happened to be right and there was a plane leaving and they got out. I don't know. I, it makes no sense. I'm not complaining about it. He was happy. I was thrilled. Yeah, it kind of sounds like it was ready to go right there when it got there. Yeah. The one article out of Huffington Post, well, that's that's quite the angle that they take, see? And they tie it in with saying that these guys, the veterans, were protecting the neo-Nazis. and They were protecting Antifa and the neo-Nazis. They were protecting anybody that wanted to make use of their First Amendment rights, but they put a twist on it. So, oh, they're, they're turned into racists when they come home. Oh, what a shame. And the fuck? And it happens to everybody. Every cop that has to deal in the inner city and deal with the minorities, well, they what, get an what attitude. Does, what does Antifa stand for? Anti-fascist. That's it? That's it. Anti-fascist. Anti-fascist or anti-fascism? That's only group. one. That's only two words. Anti, anti, fa, fascist. FFA stands for FA. The unit, and then the history of the unit goes back to pre-Nazi Germany when they were fighting in the streets. 
the communists. It was a communist organization. And I've got some of their original, in my collection, I've got some of their original symbols, which are the three arrows pointing down and their pins. So this is nothing new to us, well, you know, to people that collected stuff. We knew about this shit, but it was a communist organization. But they don't care about that. They're It's their own interpretation. They're not admitting that they're communists. But the motherfuckers are in the streets with Soviet flags. What do you mean you're not admitting that you're communists? But I bet you most, I, 90%, 90 or more percent of the people that are protesting with them have no clue at what Antifa was before World War II and how they used to fight in the streets. These are the guys that would do the street fighting against the brown shirts. The communists. So, it's not new, but... To everybody well, else, I think new. we should go to communism now, really. If you don't think about it, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you'd love to work on a, a collective farm where your property is no longer yours, and they tell you how much, how many crops you have to provide for the state and how much you're allowed to keep for yourself. I, I know you'd love that. I would, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah stand on line for a loaf of bread. Yeah. Nah, wouldn't do that. If an animal dies, you had to fill out paperwork explaining and have it tested to prove what it died from and what happens with the body afterwards. I ate it. Uh, yeah, no, you can't do that. That animal belongs to the people. It doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the state. Right. You got to account for it. You got to share your goat with the village. But not my yeah. sheep, right? No, everything. <laughs> everything. No, I don't share my sheep with nobody, man. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, only the Taliban get away with that shit. You know, we've been at a couple of wild parties and things happen, but I don't yeah. share usually. We have an understanding. We have a prenuptial. Sheep make much better wives. They really do. <laughs> easy to control easily led mm -hmm. I like that video where the guy goes up to the fence and everything he says all the sheep answer him every time mm -hmm. that's yeah. hysterical yep. <laughs> uh, dumbasses Uh, well, we'll see tomorrow what's going to happen in San Francisco. Tomorrow's the big protest. Protest about what? Uh, freedom of speech. There's a freedom of speech rally, which means Antifa is going to be out in force. What is up with this freedom of speech shit? What is the well, fucking, what is the protest about? Just shut people up? Yeah, <laughs> well, no. The conservatives feel that well, they should have freedom of speech and have the right to say what we want and everything, and Antifa doesn't want Well, you, you fucking do. You have that fucking right. No, um, not in this day and age. No, fuck you don't. Well, that's why they're doing it. They're like, we have the right to speak, and we're going to speak out. And Antifa shows up and says, no, you won't. And they disrupt them on purpose to make sure that people don't speak. No. I'm just going to call George Soros up and say, God damn, George, when are you going to quit this bull civil rivalry bullshit? Quit it, man. Fuck. I mean, you got full sorry for guy. His last name is Soros. Yeah. How's your son doing? He's doing time. <laughs> Any word? No, he's doing fine. Same old thing. Yeah, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Is she out of the house? Not yet. Still ain't got title back yet, man. I'm still waiting for a fucking title. I called him again today. Fuck, man. I got to show proof of ownership of that fucking thing. Thought you said you had the title. Mm -mm. No, I got the title for it to have it transferred over to me. Yeah. I, well, I always had the title anyway. Even when he had it, you know. But, um. But I, I thought the title you had showed proof of ownership as, as being you. Mm -mm. 
No. It's it should have done it should be here. I'm I I watched that fucker a month ago. That title. And usually you get title back within a week, you know, but here I don't know what the fuck's going on. Maybe somebody got to them in the government. Well, it's, I mean, it's fucking mine. I own that motherfucker. That's all there is well, to until it. You, until you get a title that says you own it. Right. What it's you can do about limbo. it. It's sitting in limbo right now. <clears throat> That's messed up. That's what I said. What the fuck? I mean, it ain't the girls, the Larson's girls that are fucking up. It's a goddamn state fucking around. I mean, you know, there's a free and clear title. There'd be no problem. Transfer it over to me. But who knows? Well, they settle it fast. And I paid money for it. You know, I paid to have the shit done. You know, come on. Yeah, no shit. I mean, do I need to apply for a lost title because the state lost the fucking title? Again, you know? Wow. That's going to be fun. They'll be sending me a fat check. So well, what happened on. with that stuff? What happened with that stuff where you told them that they were going to owe you the money? Did you file against them? Not yet. He's not out of there yet. Oh. I got to wait till I have a total out, but I told him out. They're running the fucking tab with me right now. They don't know it yet. Shit. They're going to find out. Yeah, that's going to be a storm when that hits. Mm -hmm. But I, the deal was, I told him this is a contract. These are terms and conditions. You agree to it when you open your fucking mouth. That's all it takes. That's why I like the freedom of speech thing. Let people run their fucking mouth. I love it. I make money off it. Boys online. Hey, Boyd. <sighs> hey gang. Boyd, what you doing? Oh, <sighs> uh, just getting home from the hospital, taking the puppy out to pee. Hospital? Getting, what are you uh, talking about? Huh? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. It's my ow, 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 ow. Le I, 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 I. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, the puppy's fine. I can hear the puppy's the teeth are working really good. Oh, the puppy's fine. I can hear the puppy's the teeth are working really good. Let go. Eat your bone. Chew on your raw I'm getting a lot of uh, background feedback. Oh. Yeah, it's repeating. How's that? That's Much bad. better. Much better. Uh, I had the vi I had the sound on on Mixler. So, yeah, I'm no. Debbie's in the hospital right now. What's up? What's the matter with her? Um, she had a couple implants in her jaw removed uh, in June. Oh shit. And they got infected. Oh. And we've been fighting them, fighting it since June, trying to get the infection under control. And, uh, excuse me, needless to say, hey, hey, quit that. No. No. Needless to say, they weren't too successful, and um, he was scheduled for surgery on Saturday, 
But no, she was scheduled. Yeah, she was scheduled for surgery on Saturday to uh, for the surgeon to go in and clean out the pus and all of that stuff and scrape the bone. But last yesterday, um, she couldn't stand the pain anymore, and it really blew up and kind of exploded around. She went to the doctor. The doctor looked at her over in the emergency room. I'll be there in a couple hours. He called over there, and they did the surgery last night. And... Uh, so she's got a pretty damn good infection going, and she'll probably be there for a while. I hope they get a handle on it quick. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, this mm -hmm. sucks, man. Ow. Tinker. No. It sounds That's like what they named it. Yeah. Tinker? Okay. Tinker. Oh, Kinker. You know, like Tinkerbell? Oh, Tinkerbell, all right. But Debbie named her Tinker because of Tinker Taylor Spy. Well, since she's a golden retriever, um, I would have probably named her Goldie because it's a female, ain't it? Yeah. 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 Just how are those puppy teeth working out? Yeah, the fish are you hooks. enjoying them? Are you enjoying them every day? <laughs> They're still very, very sharp. Yeah, oh, yeah, they are. Daddy, I love you, chomp. Mm -hmm. I love the way you taste, Daddy. Yeah. If they barbed, it'd be fish hooks. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's finding her voice. Well, I meant to give you a heads up. They had the Greek festival, I think, last weekend over in Anchorage, and I wanted you to go over and say hi to the guys in the band for me, but I forgot to tell you. I forgot all about it. Yeah. Well. Uh. We just got the puppy one week ago, so... You got your hands full. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. This is the first puppy that we have raised without help in 20 years. What do you mean without help? An elder dog in the house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's surprising how, uh, how much of the work they do. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Because a puppy always looks to that older dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But she's uh, she's getting into a routine and, and stuff. Things are all right. Cool. But she's been confused for the last few days. Why? Well, oh, where's mom? Well, not only that, but she's never been left alone in the house. Oh, new environment. New environment. Mm hmm. Any damage? Oh, no. No, we got a kennel and a crate inside the house. Over <laughs> all my dogs have been all right except for Nikki, who is the. We had to put him down during Hurricane Sandy. But Nicky, when he was a puppy, he used to love going in and grabbing the toilet paper and pulling it all over the house. Yeah. And empty the roll. Fuck, man. They would, I'd come home, there'd be toilet paper up the hallway, down into the bedroom. All There was toilet paper every. That dog thought it was hilarious. And then I kept my collection room shut after that. He went into the collection room, grabbed the Japanese flag, and he came running out of the collection room with that in his mouth. Running around the house with a Jap flag. It's like, no, no. Oh, shit. Yeah, he didn't damage it, though, but just, oh, shit, man. That dog liked dragon shit. 
He had a sense of humor. Well, we've got her, you know, we, we keep her contained. Uh, watch her or anything, then she goes in her, her kennel. You know, and it, it, you know, you know what an X pen is? No. Huh? No, is that those metal folding pens? Yeah. All right. Here. Let me show you. Well, hey, I hate to be a dick, but I got to run. I'll see you guys when I get back. I All, right, Ron, see you. You. All right, Ron. All right, we'll see you later on. Where are you running to? Can you see that? Yep, I see it. I see it. Mm -hmm. So you kept her. She kept her in the pen while you were gone. Yeah. Yeah. That was so she couldn't get around the house. And yeah, that's right. That's right. That's good. Ah, oh. where'd you get them from? Debbie made them. Oh, I'm kidding. She made them Thursday before, uh, you know, Thursday afternoon. I actually had them all cooked before she called the doctor in pain so bad. So, well, I'm surprised she likes stuffed grape leaves. You didn't take her to the Greek festival. Yeah. Well, I didn't know about it, to be honest with you. Yeah. So what? What's going on in your guys' world? Uh, we heard there's a sneaky meeting that the Mayor de Blasio in New York City held today, and he didn't notify everybody. One of the city councilmen for New York City was outside, and I guess he's Italian, and he had a whole bunch of Italians with him. It must have been like something out of Goodfellas, and they were all bitching and complaining. They don't think that this is right about de Blasio... Uh, uh, trying to get rid of uh, the Columbus, you know, the, the monument there, the statue. Yeah. And a lot of the Italian community are taking offense to it. I don't blame them. And, mm -hmm. uh, and de Blasio feels that, well, he murdered too many Native Americans and everything else and that it should go. It's politically correct bullshit. <laughs> but they're, try they're trying to have a meeting at night while nobody's around so they can get their way. So for them to pull this, that means that they're going to want to take that down. And that Columbus Circle, that monument, is a big fucking monument. Yeah. I don't know what their plan is for that, but a Hillary statue is not going to fit in that fucking place. So I don't know what they're up to. But de Blasio is going to leave a mark. He's going to, his mark is going to end up being a stain on New York's history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Columbus Circle He's is like already a, left like a, a stain on there. the damn city. Are you kidding me? Yep. Uh, this when he just make got on worse. that plane and went to fucking Germany, yeah. where well, the people loved. out there in Germany paid his expenses to go and stay and all that nice shit, and he left right around the time that that cop was shot. I, he somebody said that he's thinking about running for governor, and they're dreaming. These liberals are not in re the same world. They don't live in the same world we do. Statewide, the rest of the state, they're going to go, De Blasio, are you shitting me? He's not going to get any votes upstate, unless it's like Albany or something where there's liberals. You're forgetting. Uh, this is, this is you, have you forgotten we live in liberal land? 
He's well, a fellow he, liberal. They'll yeah, but, they'll they'll forgive him. That's what I'm saying. It, unless Albany is a city with his liberals, but the rest of it, no. Just like Cuomo, Cuomo didn't get we, no. Yeah. He didn't get any votes. Yeah, no. It's Cuomo didn't get shit. Upstate, you know. Beaver, that statue. He's going to lose the Italian vote in the city. Oh, the Italians! They'll. Yeah, it's done. And that's a major a major chunk of the city vote. Yeah. But, you know, oh, shit. what do you expect? He's a Democrat, he's a liberal, he's an idiot. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll probably hear on the news tomorrow what, what happened at the city council meeting. This specially convened meeting. That no one was invited to? Yeah, I, I guess it was limited audience. Maybe they... Maybe they picked who they wanted to be there to make sure that they could do the vote. That's usually how it works, right? They do that on purpose. Yeah, of course they do. They don't advertise shit like that. Well, we sent you an email. Oh, really? Yeah, they don't push it. It's usually how they work. Very sneaky. Yeah, but I think there's, don't you guys have an open meeting law? I don't, New York City, I don't know anymore because they changed the rules when they want to. Look at uh, Bloomberg when he wanted to run for an extra term. It was prohibited by the city laws. He just went and changed the law and gave him that, which gave him permission to run for an extra term, which he wasn't supposed to have. They changed it back afterwards, but it gave him special permission to do it again. They, so... Rules don't mean anything in New York at all. Well, of course they, of course they changed it back, Mike. I'll, I'll he back got there. what he wanted. Yes. Yes, he did. Look at Cuomo. The legislature and shit told him no about cha about ch changing the name of the Tappan Zee Bridge. But Cuomo wanted what Cuomo wanted, and like a little child throwing a temper tantrum, he got his way. So now the Tappan Zee is now the Mario Cuomo Bridge. But one of the articles, I think Low Hud had it, said, now let's see if people start referring to it as the Cuomo Bridge, or are they going to just still call it the Tappan Zee? So he can rename it all he wants, but... You can't control what people are going to call it. Oh, no one Cuomo? He'd try. You can't force people to it. I mean, it's always going to be known as the Tappan Zee. You know, even if the media calls it the, yeah, but the Cuomo I'm, Bridge. But Mike, no. what I'm saying is, knowing Cuomo as conceited and as arrogant as that motherfucker is, he could easily turn around and say, no, it is no the Tappan Zee Bridge no, is no, no does not exist anymore. This is a brand new bridge. It is the Mario Cuomo Bridge. That is what yeah, we call it. Okay, if you heard you saying it. if you heard saying Tappan Zee, you'll be fined. Yeah, that's okay. It's Tappan Zee. <laughs> Let him try doing that. He'll come out and look like even a bigger idiot than he is. I'm going to find you if you don't call it Cuomo. That now they'll compare him to a Nazi. Fucked up. But I'd like to see, I mean, picture like Goodfellas, the mafiosos down in New York City dealing with this. You're going to take down the, the Columbia. What? Huh? Who's going to do this? Yeah. Somebody going to wake up with a dead horse with a horse that's in his bed. Yeah, Pleasant Avenue is going to be in an uproar. <laughs> you know. Look, the way I see it is this. Cuomo is a moron. He doesn't understand that, you know, you 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 call this bridge and name it after your father. After you were told you can't do that, and you go and do it anyway. I mean, how many people showed up for the, for the, for the uh, ribbon cutting, I wonder? I'm sure everybody and their brother was there. That's what you do. Whether you like it or not, you're a county commissioner or whatever you're going to be there. Mary I'm Ellen O'Dell. People. Oh, I don't know. I didn't see the video of it. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sure he'll put it. He, I'm sure he put out a press release at some point that said there were there were thousands of people there. Uh, or the press did that just to the brownie points to him. Yeah, that would be typical. But you see, I'm still going to refer to it as the Tab and Z. Yeah, a lot of people are. And how long? But how long are they going to? Is the is the original Tab and Z bridge still open? They're going to be ripping that down. I think they open. They only open one side of the new bridge, and somewhere in the spring they're going to open the other side, and then they're going to rip down the Tappanzi Bridge. It's a damn shame because that new bridge. I hate to say it, it looks like shit. That's it really one of those weird suspensions. Yeah, it's strange. The Tappan Zee is the bridge that went over to Staten Island, isn't it? No. No, the Tappan no, Zee that... goes over the Hudson. Where? Down by Tarrytown, and then it goes across over towards Nyack, towards New Jersey. Yeah. That's what it cuts across over there. Is it uh, north or uh, south of the Georgia? GW. North. Okay. Yeah. North you're of the GW of, uh, and south of the uh, of the Bear Mountain. You're thinking of the Verrazano. Yeah, Verrazano. That goes over, yep, that one that goes over to Staten Island. Different animal. Yep, yep, yep. And they renamed the Throg's Neck Bridge, too. You're kidding. I forget when they did it. No, a couple years ago they did that one quietly. And I... Didn't like that either. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? They named it now the Robert F. Kennedy Bridge or something. But guess what everybody calls it? Throgs what the name is? The Throgs name. Robert Bridge. F. Kennedy. Yeah. No, what, what's the new name? Robert F. Kennedy. I didn't know that. Yeah, most people don't. It's like, here, we're going to rename the bridge. Oh, shit. Yeah, they but fuck you, with everything they can. But you know, like, like up here... Uh, you know, the highways and the highways you got down there are all numbered. Yeah. Well, our hi highways might be numbered, but we all call them by name. Well, they've got that, too. Let's we'll say the the Korean War Veterans Memorial Highway, and they give names to them like that. Yeah, no, so no. We had, we had names before the numbers. We don't even... We don't even use the numbers when you're when we're giving directions to anybody. Yeah, some states are like that. Massachusetts, the uh, the Mass Pike is the Mass Turnpike. It's Route 90. It's Interstate 90. But yeah. everybody in Massachusetts calls it the Mass Turnpike. Yeah, they don't call it by the number. It's crazy. Well, we got the Parks Highway, the Glen Highway, the Richardson Highway, the Seward Highway. Uh, Sterling Highway. Um, well, of course, the Dalton Highway. And uh, what's the one that goes down to Seward from uh, Anchorage? That the long one. That's the Seward Highway. Yeah. I like that drive. I, that was that was. I like that road a lot. Yeah. It's fucking nothing there. You don't want to break down out there. Especially if you're going to meet Yogi. I wouldn't want to meet Yogi out there. Yeah, I, I can't climb trees fast anymore. I'm too old for that shit. And the bear climbs faster than you can think about it anyway, so. Yeah. <coughs> and then, of course, you got bulls out there. I don't know if they named, renamed the Whitestone Bridge, too. I don't know about that. Somebody said they did. Oh, we have bridges and overpasses up here named for, you know, for some of the military guys. Yeah. But, <clears throat> you know, yeah, I don't know what, you know, 
who they are or what they are, you know. And that, I guess that's kind of extreme, but, you know. Mike, George, what, what's what's the reason? Why do, why do they, they think they can rename a bridge that's been the name there for decades? Because they can. They want to change things up. Liberals feel that it's not good to stay. Some of the traditions don't mean anything. Traditions meant something to the other generations, but they don't mean anything to this generation. So let's make everything newer and name it something that means something to people of today. We're progressive. They don't respect anything from what? anything that was older. No, it doesn't, doesn't affect them. You've heard the comments even about the Constitution, some old piece of paper. You know, it's, it's how they are. That's how they are. That's what yeah, they well, said? Yeah, man. You know, they're in their they're in their big thing to uh, you know rewrite history. Yeah, you know that's their and, big thing right and now. And you know what I noticed? You know what I noticed today, which bothered the shit out of me. And I I posted a couple of things on there. Go to the History Channel page on Facebook. All it says it's got the big H and it says history. Yeah. Read some of the headlines, you know, the articles that the History Channel is posting. The History Channel has changed now. It's yeah. become it's become a political platform. They're using it, and subtly, very slick, they're using it for propaganda, bringing up history to get people talking about things like what presidents had the power to, what, what really gave the presidents the power to give uh, pardons, presidential pardons. And what are you getting involved with that for? You're a history channel. You should be involved in history. Don't start making parallels between today's news and making political commentary or getting people talking about today's, because that's, and they're doing it again and again and again. And a lot of the articles on there, and, and it shows a slant, a left slant, where they apparently they've, took, they've taken control of the history channel too. Uh -huh. That would explain why we see a lot of the programming change like the history channel the eight it used to be the h for and people would call it the hitler channel because it mostly showed a lot of world war ii you remember yeah 10 12 years world ago? war ii and, and um and korea and hitler, Vietnam, yeah. and oh there was a lot of stuff well then what happened was one of the guys they used to borrow stuff from me all the time a bunch of times they borrow stuff they come up here and borrow stuff and uh one of the guys that works for them told me that they brought in a new director for the History Channel that came over from the Discovery Channel, which owns them. And that's when everything changed to Modern Marvels, Ice Road Truckers, <clears throat> on yep. the History Channel. And everybody's like, what the fuck does this have to do with... They wanted to distance themselves from the Hitler stuff and the Nazi stuff because a lot of the liberals saying, why does it show so much about Hitler? We shouldn't be advertising this. Oh, history, it, it pisses you off, huh? Oh, what a shame. So now what they're doing is they're using Hitler, they're using history in their toolbox that they can use it to interpret and get people to justify what's going on today in politics. And well, look at this. So oh, this is interesting. Take a look at it and look for ulterior motives, why they put that post on there. And you'll see it. And it's like, son of a bitch. It, it's, it's, I enjoy seeing how they... They handle propaganda today, and and I can see it. They don't even try to fucking hide it. But most people don't pick up on that shit. They don't. And it's not that I'm being paranoid. It's obvious what they're doing. It's a shame. Well, you talk about about history and and all that. Well, guys, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. You're pregnant. But unfortunately, they've now gone after a Revolutionary War statue. Yeah. I'm putting it in. I'm putting the link in the chat room on Mixler. I'll post it on Facebook in a second here. Is that the one we decapitated? Yep. Yep. At a school. I yep. Just I just saw this, and it's like you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> Sean Hannity put this out. 
about nine hours ago. Decapitated. Now get a load of this. It begins. Vandals decapitate statue of revolutionary war hero. The statue of a revolutionary war hero was decapitated in Ohio Thursday night. The latest in a string of incidents where vandals and far-left activists are attacking historical symbols and monuments throughout the United States. The monument of Colonel William Crawford, who was tortured to death near the end of the American War of Independence, stands near the entrance of the Crawford County <coughs> Courthouse in Ohio. The statue was found Friday morning with the head removed. According to local news, the suspect or suspects remain at large. Crawford first served in the French and Indian War and later in the American Revolution under the command of George Washington. A local lawyer is offering a reward for the arrest of the criminals behind the beheading. This saddens me. I love my hometown. I don't know much of the history of Colonel Crawford, but for the fact that he was a, sur a, a, sur a surveyor and a soldier of the Revolutionary War and French and Indian War, Crawford <laughs> County works so hard to keep things nice, and the courthouse is an absolute gem, wrote the attorney. President Trump weighed in on the, outgoing ten on the ongoing tensions throughout the nation regarding the country's historical monuments and symbols, asking those who are advocating the removal of Confederate memorials where it, where it all ends. Sad to see the history and, the cu and culture of our, of our great country being ripped apart with the removal of our beautiful statues and monuments. You can't change history, but you can learn from it. Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, who's next? Washington? Jefferson? The president had asked. Well, Mr. President, you got your you got your question answered. It wasn't Washington or Jefferson, but it was Colonel Crawford. You know, I, I'll tell you something. I am sick to fucking death of this nonsense. This is this has gone too far. It has gone way too far. We're not done. I'm surprised we're not uh, we're not they're not putting uh, security on a lot of these monuments now. No, uh, they're not done. They're going to take going more out to because. Then, then people would start screaming, "Oh, you're 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 stifling our freedom, our right to freedom of speech." Blah blah blah. blah. No, destroying a monument is not freedom of speech. That's destruction of pro of public property. Yep, destruction of public I mean, property. I mean, I mean, how how the, how the fuck how the fuck did they spray paint the Lincoln Memorial in Washington? How did he get away with that? I don't know. Nobody's watching the Lincoln Memorial? Your guess is as good as mine on that one, Tony. I'd love to know how they got away with that myself. I'd love to know how in the fuck they were able... Now, it had to have been more than one person, obviously. Did you Did you see that? I saw the, I saw what they did to the pillars and everything. You know, I mean, come on. Really? This is ridiculous. And the Democrats are going to sit there and... and, 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 and let, and just be happy with it? Of course Not they're going to gonna be word. happy with it. They're fucking idiots. They don't know what, you know, they don't know that Lincoln's considered one of the the best, the pop, most popular presidents ever in the history of the United States and what he did for the slaves and everything and and to spray paint. They don't even know what the fuck they're doing. No. You know, it's 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 a sad day when when you walk down when you walk into a to a town where there's a historical monument dedicated to a Revolutionary War hero, and his head's ripped off right off right off the body of the statue. Out and and this is a statue that sits outside of a fucking courthouse. This is not on school property. This is on a fucking courthouse. I'm sorry, but this is getting ridiculous america where the fuck is your brain matter here don't you understand and i'm talking to the part of america that's doing this stupid shit you fucking antifa dumbasses you fucking morons who want to rip down all this shit you know what you need your fucking heads examined you really do you scream and holler you know anti-fascism anti-fascist and all this other shit what are you doing what you're doing is, is criminal. 
George, they don't know the difference. They don't know that to them it's a statue and represents the establishment and the old system and and to them it's a target. They don't they don't know that it's revolutionary war. They don't know the difference one from the other. The schools didn't teach it. They don't fucking know it. They don't care. It represents the government. It represents the man. So it's a target. Fucking you're dealing with idiots that are out there. They just want to destroy. There's a lot of anger out there, even among those assholes, and they just want to destroy shit. And these, these drunk college kids who think it's stylish now to, to fuck up a statue. Yeah. People that that head is that them. head's on display somewhere. The head for that statue's on display. I have no doubt, and they're proud of it. Pretty messed up. Yeah. Uh, well, like I was saying, bottom line, you can you, you you destroy a statue, you're not erasing history. Mm. No, nope. it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time before some patriotic nutcase is going to start whacking people. Knocking people, uh, taking people out, it's taking some of these liberals out, and then you're going to see how far, you know, you push, yeah. push too far. Let's see, see, another example. We told you those conservatives are dangerous. What about the Antifa fuckheads? What do you think they are? And you know the interviews. I told you about that one interview, a lady that's uh, big with Antifa. And they interviewed her and put her, they did an interview with her and the head of the Nazis. Um, and uh, and she, they asked her, they said, are you communist? She said, no, I'd say more of an anarchist. I think that the power of the people should, the people should have the power given back to them. And we don't need a government. Uh, they're completely off the fucking wall. Yeah, that, I saw that. Yeah, did you see that? I saw that. That crazy. Yeah, she she didn't she didn't give a shit what she said. No, they're not just off the wall. They're not even on scale. No. Okay, of of the craziness. That's what I'm saying. If once they trigger a civil war, God help them, because no. they will be annihilated off the face of this planet. Well, you talking about? There's a lot of angry white people out there. Okay, that are ten times loaded. And they have a thousand times more experience than little punks do. And guess who's yeah, going to they're, win? They're, they're already getting ready. They're already getting ready. <laughs> yep. My friend sat down in Florida said people are people are already talking about. And uh, I'm not going to say what they're planning. You know, some of the things that they're, they're already planning on doing. And it's, it's like kind scary of, shit. It kind of scares me. Yeah, it's kind of fucking yeah. like, holy shit. Yeah. I hope I hope these guys don't do nothing fucking <laughs> that crazy, you know. But that's even what they're bringing these, it to. Yeah, even though these feeble fucks, they don't know what they're doing. They, I feel bad that they're gonna get hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they deserve it. Unreal. Well, where's that? Julie tonight? Huh? Where's Julie tonight? I guess we lost her. She's oh. not on Skype. She's not on Facebook. She's... I hope she's, she's all not. right. I hope she, I hope she didn't have a relapse at the hospital. She might be at the hospital pick with that friend of hers. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, John, how, how are things down there in Texas? You getting wet yet? Well, we won't see a whole lot of rain. We'll, we'll see some storms, you know, not real bad, just 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 rain. 
because I'm so far. I'm way up here in North Texas, you know, Dallas area. Uh, but people down there, woo, they are forecasting anywhere from 30 to 40 inches of rain uh, between now and Tuesday. Because that thing's going to stall out. Okay, it's going to sit there until like Tuesday. So yep. they, they better they better trade their cars in for a boat because it sounds like they're going to need it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know my kid uh, left Victoria last night and is in Austin. What do you say? Is Austin getting hit? Uh, Austin's going to get, I don't know, a uh, bunch of rain, but uh, now they they got out of Victoria. I went into Austin. And I think Victoria is going to be getting hit here pretty quick. Boy, he likes you. Yeah. I don't know what she's barking at. She's under, she's kind of in her favorite place, which is under a, uh, like a hope chest. Oh. And, uh. She's enjoying it while she can fit under there. Yeah. She's got a right to her own opinion. Yeah, but she won't be fitting under that any, for much longer. Well, here's, here's something that's, uh gonna bite them in the ass you know ESPN uh, pulled that commentator Robert Lee from the yeah. Virginia team yeah I heard about that yeah yeah because of his name anyway one of the top draft choices for I can't remember which colleague or which NBA team it is but do you know what the kid's name is? What? David Dukes. Oh, that's going to be popular. Yeah. Oh, that's some funny shit right there. I wonder how they're going to handle that. I don't know. Oh, it's today's society. We're so afraid of names. Names, oh my God. They're triggers. Yeah. That's a big that's a big liberal expression now. Mm hmm What triggered it? What triggered you? <laughs> Fucking idiots. No, I wonder what happened to that guy. That uh, Lee, did, was there any talk about it? Is he going to sue them or? I don't know. He didn't get fired. He just got reassigned or something, right? Yeah. So that some place where nobody would know his name. Well, that's not going to help his career out. Like if it's something like sit at this desk and file paperwork, that's not going to. He's not going to want to do that shit. And then I saw there were protests about that other one. What was that? Kapersnik? Kapersnik? What was the name of that football player that wouldn't... That Kaepernick. Kneeled? Kaepernick. Yeah, that asshole. You're talking about right? Kaepernick. Yeah. Yeah, and they said they're not going to... That's it. There's no room for him. And, and the blacks were out there protesting. No, this isn't... We're not going to hire him just because he's black. Or part black or whatever. That's not the criteria for what they want. You know... Does that offend you? Tough fucking. What do you think? This is a. This isn't. This is a business. We need players, and he's not. And he's a liability. And there was another some owner that came out and said, "If you don't salute 
uh, or stand at attention or something during the playing of the national anthem that you were going to kick you off the team. I saw something about that. Yeah. Some owner came out today. I forget what team. So, you know, these, these sports figures think that they are movie stars and they can do what they want. No, they're not. You might get paid fucking movie star money, but you got to remember who your your fan base is, and you piss them off, and you're not going to have a job. Well, you heard that last year was the NFL's worst year. Oh, no kidding, was it? I didn't know that. Wow. Do they attribute it to that bullshit? Uh-huh. That's interesting. Payback is a bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know. People went over to college football. I don't blame them. You know, that, that's probably scared. That's, you know, these are companies. These are money-making deals. It's supposed to be showing a profit. You start affecting their pocketbook, and they'll make sure that they hire players that will stand at attention because they're not going to invest money in these, these players and everything else and have some rogue fucking player all of a sudden make a political statement that affects the team's pocketbook. No. Huh? Man, when you when you affect the team, yeah, it's time for you to go. But I hate to say it, Mike. It's already happening. Okay. Yeah. Because even though Kaepernick is out of the NFL temporarily, there are there is an owner that wants to hire him. All right. But Who? even with Kaepernick not playing right now, there are players in the NFL during preseason who are doing the same fucking thing. Oh, it's going to affect it's them too. It's spreading. Like what Kaepernick did is spreading like a fucking cancer. And I'm what, sick, who wants I'll to tell hire you something. Him? It's, it's fucking sickening. Who wants if to any hire member him? of the New York Giants pull that shit, I'll yeah. stop watching football altogether. Who wants to hire him? I have no idea. I, I, I saw the article briefly and then I couldn't find it again. Yeah, because I thought he was a dead issue. No, he's not a dead issue. Not when uh, not when active players in the NFL are doing the same fucking thing. Oh, uh, that was end quick. He started something that should never have been started. You want to protest? Fine. Do it on your own fucking time. Don't do it during the game. Not during the national anthem. And sure the fuck, not where you're going to be in the, in front of the eyes of millions of children who look up to you as a fucking role model. That's, I'm sorry. These players, they don't realize it. They are, they are role models and, and young impressionable kids look up to these fucking idiots. For the life of me, and to this, at this point, I don't know why. But they do. And it's, mm. and it's doing stupid shit like sitting down or kneeling during the national anthem. If I were the owner, I'd fine every single one of them big time. I'd tell them, okay, you want to play? Fine, you'll play. But for every time you, you kneel or sit down during the national anthem, you will be fined heavily. Affect their fucking wallet. <coughs> well. For every dollar that we lose at the box office and on TV revenue, coming out of your paycheck. Oh, that would do it. Yeah. That would do it really fast. That's like I said, if the owners got off their asses and actually started fining these players heavily every, for every single game they do it at, not just once, but every single game, it'll affect the, the, the bottom line, their paycheck. 
And there ain't really a whole hell of a lot that the NFL Players Association is going to do to stop it because, hey, you're there, you're there to play football. You're not there to protest. Okay? You don't sit – like I said, man, if I, were, if I were the owner of a football team and my players were sitting down or kneeling during the National Anthem protesting the way Kaepernick did – Yeah. 25,000 first time, and then it goes up another 25,000 every single time you do it. You want to do this stupid shit? You're going you're gonna to pay for it. You're, there to, you're, the, you're paid to play a football game, not protest. You want to protest? Wait till you're done the game. Don't do it during the national anthem. Don't sit there and act like like you're not, you know, gonna, like you're not being noticed, because you are. And for being noticed and making the team look bad, now you're gonna pay for it. Twenty five thousand dollar fine the first time, twenty five thousand additional each and every time you do it. So it'll go up to fifty thousand, seventy five thousand, a hundred thousand, and it'll keep going up until they get the fucking message. When their paycheck starts showing a negative balance, uh, pay and they're paying for they're they're playing the game for free. <clears throat> Oops. Well, maybe I tell them the owner. Maybe it's time you get out of sports and get into politics. You're so concerned about it. Yeah, but it's not the owner; it's the player. The owner would tell the player. Maybe it's time oh, okay. you get out of. I, I, yeah. I missed that. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. I agree. The, you know what? The, uh, uh, but do that after you find them up the yazoo for what they're doing. Right. When it gets up to 100000 you turn around and go, all right, now, you're paying a $100,000 fine for kneeling or sitting during the national anthem. I don't pay you to, to protest on the field. You want to protest? You want to, you, you want to play politics? Resign? And go and go run for public office. I want players that are going to play the game and that aren't going to sit there and make this team and this sport look bad because you got to be a protester. No, you're right, Mike. I agree with you. They that's what the owners should do. Yeah. Put these fuckers on notice. It you, you only get away with it, but for a, a, a brief period of time. After a while, you're going to be paying through the nose, and you got a choice to make. Play, and that means standing yeah. up for the national anthem, or resign your position and go run for political office. Now, there's another article that I thought was interesting, Gunslinger. I think you'd like to see this. You're in the FFNOP, Gunslinger? Look at this link. from the assholes from MSN. But they're taking the humanitarian look at it like, oh my goodness, he's, he's spending all of his money on, on weapons of war instead of feeding his poor people. <laughs> Interesting fucking take. But it just, it's, uh, again, shows how little Kim is out of touch with the reality. And with these sanctions, they're going to be there's going to be some hungry people in North Korea. You see it, George? What's that, Mike? I think we lost. Uh, I think no, we you lost Mark. Too. I, I was on my oh. way to the bathroom. When, no, 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 when you Mark, 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 no, Mark, too. Oh, okay. I think, uh, I Mark, yeah, Mark. Mark. Take a look in FFNOP. There's an article in there that I just put in, in the Facebook chat room. It's about North Korea. Yeah, I'll check it out. They don't have food for the people. Well, they don't care. No, he's spending... People in North Korea are starting to talk, saying, you know, this guy, that their dictator, at first they were all proud of him. He's taking on America. But now it's starting to hit home. Wait a minute. He's spending his money on, on missiles and everything else where... We're looking at food shortages now here, dude. Oh, well.
Is that your Keurig, George? Beg your pardon? Said, was that your Keurig that I was hearing? No. No, that's me. I'm filling up my washing machine. Mm. You shouldn't be able to hear my Keurig because it, it's sitting further back away from the microphone. Even if it were running. Yeah. So. There's Julie. <laughs> There's Julie. <clears throat> what do you guys think about these North Korean officers that uh, they have a hundred second medals on their on the front of their uniforms? I I think they're great. I wonder what they're getting the medals for. I mean that that's just that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever fucking seen. Well, you know, you know like, it's like this, you know. Uh, we Julie's on the line, everybody. Yep, yeah, we could win the war with just a magnet. Yep, it's true. Pick them all up. Hi, Julie. Hi. We're wondering where you were earlier. So we said, oh, maybe, like Boyd said, you went to visit your buddy at the hospital, your friend that's in there. Nah. Just hanging out. I hear the fan. Which fan? Must be coming from you, Julie, I guess. Sounds like a hurricane. The speaker, double slap. We now have full echo effect. Well, fuck me with a dry spoon. And 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 now 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 we 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 give you give you how's that better yeah that's better would you have a fan running oh there was one way across the room towards the kitchen oh Jesus Christ uh oh. Oh, the puppy did something. Boyd got up quick. Yeah. Who's that? Shit. Oh. Tony? Yeah, Tony's on. Okay, um, I just, yeah, I see a blank. Blank nothing. Thank you, Julie. I'm sorry, it didn't, it doesn't show anything, just, uh, uh, just whatever, they put. yeah. <laughs> no avatar, maybe that's where it's going. So what's going on? Nothing, kind of a slow night. We're just discussing a couple of things that were going on, and we're. I'm holding my breath for tomorrow, the the protest in San Francisco, to see what happens between Antifa and uh, anybody else that shows up that they want to label as a Nazi. And so I don't, but I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I mean, the the, the conservatives might, the pro-Trump side might decide to just leave. If they see Antifa there, they might say, you know, like in Boston, fuck it, let them take it. And then if that would be the best thing they could do, because then Antifa will, knowing how these assholes act, they'll end up getting into a fight with the uh, police, and that'll make them look bad again, just like in Boston. So yeah. that would be one of the best things that could happen. The, uh, I don't understand, understand why they're uh, they're bullying so much. I don't. I, what's their point? media is giving uh, They feel that violence is the only way to deal with conservatives. Really? That, I, I've been watching some of the uh, 
some of the protests and that across the... I had to go back and look up on Antifa. I know you guys explained it the other night, but I needed to a, a brush up more on it. And they're a bunch of dickheads. They're worse than the neo-Nazis, I think. They are neo-Nazis. No, they are. They're the white supremacists? I was going to say, because that's what they're calling us, the conservatives. And Antifa's come along in, in causing a ruckus to make the conservatives look bad. Aren't they part of the Clinton mob, the left? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Uh, you know what would be be really cool, or what really should happen, is you know all of these guys that are doing these protests, or like the, uh, like in Boston, the Freedom of Speech rally. You know, and people shows up. You know, force is that the uh, those folks ought to leave. And let the cops, and then the cops just need to take Antifa and arrest every one of them on site uh, because uh, they don't have, they don't, never got a permit to, uh, to hold a uh, protest. That's, that's right. Way back when, when I said, yep. who are those people that are all in black with black everything, who are they? That's Antifa, right? Yep. So, you know, uh, uh, our side ought to go and, and file and pay for the, uh, for a permit, you know, to hold a rally someplace in a town. And when Antifa shows up, walk away and then have the cops just go out there and arrest every one of them for, uh, 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 not having a permit to, to do a protest. Well, I saw the stuff they took from took from them the other night when it, what was it they were at, Mike? It, it was the last one that they were at, and they where they were throwing the canisters and stuff at the police officers. They had a whole table full of stuff that they took off them. Yeah. So. Did you did you guys see the video of the of the guy who threw the or kicked the uh, tear gas can back at the uh, cop? Yep. Yeah, he's arrested now. Yeah, but did you see what what happened to him? Uh -huh. I thought he got hit. He got hit in the nuts, didn't he? Yeah, with another tear gas can. Yeah, they're calling him. <laughs> they're calling him Pepper Balls. How yeah. Everybody nicknamed him Pepper Balls. Yep. <laughs> you hear something that's not there? I saw one report where this gal, uh, conservative, she wanted to go and support the president by being in this, but she said, I didn't realize, I didn't realize how dangerous it is out there. She says it's crazy. It's a young gal, maybe in her mid twenties. Yeah. And they're supposed to be in California tomorrow. Who? Uh, another protest march. Oh, I don't know. Right? Didn't you say California or Boston or? No, they this weekend, have... tomorrow. It's San Francisco. Yeah, oh, wow. There's a lot of football games this weekend in that area. Oh, that'd be wild. Boyd, are you in the FFNOB in that chat room? No, I'm not. Um, Can you pop in there? Yeah, hang on just a minute. 
that. I've got a link that covers the armed. Is this, the armed, is this the one? Is this the one that you're in? FFNO chat room on Facebook. Yeah, it's the it's the FFNO chat room. Let's see. F F N O. Yeah. Boy, you're in the ch you're you're, you're part in of there. that group in the chat room, so go to your, you should go be to seeing your, it. Go to your yeah. top border of Facebook Ow. where there's a bubble, the conversation bubble. Click on it, and you should see it. It'll say FFNO chat room. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. In. Okay, I'm putting in a yeah. link right now. This link covers the armed version of Antifa. And it's an evaluation of these assholes and what the John Brown, they call themselves some sort of a John Brown group. A lot of people don't know Harper's Ferry. They don't know what John Brown is. They don't know about the guy. Uh, but I'm sorry. More history. But anyways, it covers them. Look at the puppy. Look how cute. Oh, my God. Gotta see. Gotta see. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. What's he trying to do, nurse? He wants a beard. No. <laughs> He's teething. She's teething. She's going to chew on anything she can, but she she looks like she wants to get at that beard. Well, can you see my arm? Yeah. Mm. She oh, you're leaking. Us. You're leaking. Yeah. You better well, call I a plumber. Was. You better call a plumber. You sprung a leak. Uh -huh. Is that claws or biting? Both. Both. Everything. You know how puppies are. You know, I was down on the floor with her and wrestling and stuff. And, you know. Animals and children will keep you young. I prefer the animals myself. <laughs> but George and Mike, uh, George and Mike, George and Mark, you guys should uh, check out Gunslinger. You'd enjoy that article too. About so the would I. They're in, yeah, Julie too. If Bill, you Julie, you're not heavy duty into guns. Yes, I, mean, I you am. Gotta, yeah, you got to protect yourself. But I mean, these guys right here. And there's that video that we've all seen before of them at the range, which is ridiculous. That's that's a joke. But it's a good evaluation of them. Yeah. But it's absolutely true. If these if these idiots take to the field and they don't know anything about firearms, uh, that, that article wraps it up pretty good. I mean, uh, yeah. They, they, there's there's going to be blood. This is the group we saw in the uh, range. Oh, uh, yeah, range day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, where where they were breaking every freaking rule on the range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like it says in the end of it, eventually someone's going to pull that trigger, like in Kent State. And then yeah. the brownies, the, these liberals will learn what guns are all about. They'll also learn what it is to be cannon fodder. They're right. They're going to get chewed up, man. <laughs> I'll share it with my dad, Ben Collector. I just grew up in a gun environment. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, at least, I mean, if this is Antifa, they're not in black, all in black like they, like they were in the beginning. Well, which they were saying this is, these are the armed armed side of Antifa, the okay. guys with the guns. These guys are lined up with and support Antifa. Oh, my God. Is that John Brown? Yeah. No, it's the John Brown. They named their group after John Brown. Guys, look at this old this old guy down the bottom here. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah, that that's him right there. Great. But you remember the history of Harper's Ferry and what John Brown did. And do you know any other history? It's an interesting story. It's it's good no, to look I'll, it up. No, that's why I I've got it. Um, I got it up and I've got it marked. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. I'm going to read it. 
I know who Charlie Manson is. <laughs> Right. But they, they align themselves with people like John Brown, who basically tried starting a race war. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Mike, I already saw this. I you had po I had seen it earlier when you posted it last time. I didn't post it last time. I put it in a message. I never posted it on Facebook. I just um, put it in a message. Yeah. I never posted. It like, yeah, you said you said that in private message. Uh, private message, before, right? Once before the uh, couple of, uh, about a day or so ago. No. Yeah, they just, they I'm look like sure of it. they look like they look like they have a problem just holding the rifle. Yeah. yeah. Some of them rifles are pretty damn heavy. Those people, like I said, yeah, they can they can look big badass by by holding them rifles and them them uh, AK 47s and SKSs and all them fancy guns. But when the when the rubber meets the road, okay, that's when they're going to turn into little boy pussies, okay, and they're going to run the mama, okay, yeah. because they are not trained. Oh yeah, I can look big, bad, and bold, okay, sure. But when the bullets start flying at them, and you hear this, pew, 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 all these bullets ricocheting, none of us will be ricocheting. We'll be taking their heads off, or their heads of their buddies exploding suddenly from sniper rifles that we're trained how to use. They're going to shit a proverbial uh, aircraft carrier. Okay, yeah. I, I, that's a guarantee. That's not a promise. That is a guarantee. Okay, because they're so idiots. I mean, it's funny to to look at these people and to watch them thinking they're so Billy badass yeah. that you know God Himself couldn't touch it, touch them. That's what they said about the Titanic, wasn't it? God Himself couldn't sink that ship. <laughs> yeah. Look what happened to it on his maiden voyage. Wow, stupidity run a monk. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah. I sent that over to you in a message, George. On I looked at it yesterday. Well, we didn't that's discuss why I said it. I already seen yeah, this. Yeah, you saw it, but we didn't discuss it. So that's why I brought it up. If we discussed it, I wouldn't brought it up again. But I sent it to you Mom, yesterday, but we didn't discuss it. Mommy, do you, do you know what my ear protection is? Yeah, really, no shit. I saw a, 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 a puppy butthole just about land on your nose. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just wound up my grandfather's clock, and I thought about that cartoon for the one I did it. It's like, God yeah. damn. <sighs> That's all right. I still think it's funny. Did you ever so see they, this? They, they watch too many movies. Is is that the one that used to ding in the background? Huh? Yeah, sometimes you hear it. Yeah, I, I did. It, I haven't heard it in a long time. Yeah. Well, the one that was right in front of me, I haven't wound that up in a while. But I just got the grandfather clock behind me going. But you click on the cartoon, take a look at the bigger, it's pretty funny. Bring this way. Come here. Oops. Uh, I don't see anything else really going on on Facebook. Let me take a quick look. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Come on. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey. Every time I wind my grandfather clock, I think of that cartoon. <laughs> That's about right, though, honestly. Yeah, no kidding. Don't have to worry about any rest of the genitalia, but when you get to be that age, you have to be careful when you're taking care of Grandpa for that part. Oh, boy. <laughs> I saw a couple of neat cartoons, political cartoons today. Um, while looking for something else, not looking for political cartoons that uh, were funny. One of them was Kim, uh, little Kim, 
uh, and he's flipping a burger at a barbecue, and he's asking everybody where 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 is everybody? The rest of the world is annihilated, and he's sitting there flipping a hamburger, wanting to know if anybody wants to eat and where everybody's at. Oh shit. George, you see that article that's going on about, uh, what's her name, Maxine Waters from 2010? And everybody seemed to forget about it. I didn't even know about it. I, that was the first I ever heard about that shit. No, didn't oh. see it. Uh, apparently, her husband and her, she was charged. This is from The Hill. Back in 2010. I, I wonder what ever happened with that, that shit. But it shows she's a corrupt piece of shit, too. Oh, yeah. Definitely. But the liberals don't say anything about that. But now people are starting to publish it again and going, what about this? You guys keep quoting Maxine Waters and putting her on. What about this bitch? It's probably the same bunch as old Hillary and her new book. Yeah, I put the link in the FFNO. <clears throat> I'm telling you, they need to commit that Maxine Waters, because yeah. the water on her brain has has grown uh, fungus or bacteria or something. She's like I said, she's batshit crazy. But this is but this is heavy duty shit back then. From it wasn't yeah. that long ago, wow. seven years ago, yeah, and and yeah. and nobody's and nobody's talking about it. But they reelect her. The House Ethics Committee on Monday outlined its charges against uh, Representative Maxine Waters, who is accused of helping a bank in which her husband owns stock secure federal bailout funds. The committee charged the 10-term 10 10 -term Democrat at the time with three counts of violating House rules and federal ethics code in, con in connection with her efforts to arrange a 2008 meeting between Treasury officials and representatives of One United Bank. The panel said Waters, who sits on the Financial Services Committee, broke a House rule requiring members to behave in a way that reflects credibility on the chamber. The committee said that by trying to assist One United, she stood to benefit directly because her husband owned a sizable amount of stock that would have been worthless if the bank had failed. Wow. Unbelievable. And I wonder what they did to her. Obviously nothing. She's still in fucking office. She got away with it. Imagine that. That's so I'm glad they I'm glad they pushed pushing this around for people to talk about it because it's like, are you kidding me? And then some of the liberals were asking her if she was thinking of running for office against Trump. Get the fuck out of here. She wouldn't stand a chance. I bet you she's got more in her more hidden in her her baggage than than we know. Ooh. Maxine Waters, she's probably got more shit. They yeah. could dig up crap on her like crazy. If this came up like that, there's probably more on it. Hey. Poppy, Popper, beat her up. Well, the way I figure it is this. She's a liberal Democrat. They get, they get to, they can get away with anything. Wow. They're, they're, they, 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 they don't... The law, the law doesn't apply to them. The rules no. don't apply to them. So they get away with shit. Yeah. And of course, if the Republican part, if the Republicans knew about this, well, they're not doing shit about it, and they control both fucking houses. But they're not doing anything about it. So I guess. And then again, just... yeah, you're right. They're not doing anything. George, you don't have to cut yourself off. I heard it go click. Shut up your thing. No, I, I no, no, Okay, don't do that. But listen to me. The, okay, the so thing, what I'm saying uh, is basically, you know, this woman's getting away with shit. They're all getting away with this kind of shit, and talking, you know, pissing and moaning about it. What the fuck? We can't do nothing well, about it. One thing I just thought of. Look at the date of it. 2010, 2010. Obama was in power. He went in in 2009. So they they had. They were having a heyday, man. They controlled everything, so they did whatever the fuck they wanted back then. 
No wonder she's all pissed Be off. Right back. I got to hit the head, man. My balls are floating. All right. Move over here. Let's see. Unreal. Come on. There it is. Um... Open folder. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Um, let's see if I can move this. And where's my FFNLP? Get back over here. T here, one of these. Oops. I'm looking for any live feeds on the storm. I just saw one throughout somebody's from <laughs> I just saw a I think, someone uh, just a, just about a half hour ago, and the reporter was outside. Julie, your monitors on again? Your speakers or somebody's got their monitors on? Oh um, my! I, 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 I think that uh, live broadcast on that uh, link I put in there earlier, wfa.com, is still going on. I think. Um, it looks like getting kind of nasty out there. Not here, but down there. The reporter was damn near blown off his feet standing out there in the rain reporting. Well, he should be. I, I don't see the point of standing out there. <laughs> I mean, every it, it's dead, deserted, everything, and, and he damn near got knocked over ass over tea kettle. Uh, I would report from somewhere a, a little bit safer than where he's at. Well, just imagine this now, if you will, for a brief moment, the Weather Channel put out alerts and warnings and stuff to people who evacuate or go somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. And then they will send their reporters in to the storm. It's kind of like, well, if it's not safe for the rest of the people, what about you, idiot? Wow. I know this guy just, I mean, he just about went with the, with the gust that, that grabbed it, and it was... You couldn't hear him. Right? It was hard to even understand what he was saying, but he was standing out there in the middle of it. Wow. I just put a couple of teehees in there. To yeah. Tunes on. But on Gun racks, yeah. Gun racks on their shopping carts. Something we won't see in our county. Walmart's not allowed to sell any guns. I guess it's a store rule over here in this county. It's weird. You go to go further north and you can buy one. But not here. I like the 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 ISIS, the CNN one on ISIS. What's this about gun racks? Oh, she put a cartoon. 
Uh, well, yeah, I put three the, little teehees in the Well, I'll chart. put you like this. Uh, as far as gun racks are concerned in Westchester County, no, they're, they're not, it's not even in, it can't even have them in Dutchess County. They don't sell them up here either. No, Dutchess Walmart, they have guns. Gun racks? Are you really? About guns, yeah. Last time I was in there, they didn't have guns. Well, Adam, you can buy a shotgun, you can buy whatever you want, and, uh, we were ten twenty twos. They have the common stuff. They don't have anything, you know. They don't have like ARs and stuff. But, I think uh, the Walmart. I think the Walmart. What about here, what about handguns? No, they don't. No, sell, I don't remember. Don't sell, no. you know, even down here, they don't sell handguns. They used to no. in Walmart. Okay, I think I seen in their little sporting goods section just at the Walmart just a hell like that spit long enough and hit it right here. I think yeah. I seen an SKS in there one time. I think they sell the rifles. Okay, but you but know no just we just had at the Jefferson Valley Mall. They just opened up a Dick's Sporting Goods over there. And I went in, and they got a complete, you know, gun section. And they got rifles. I guess they sell ammunition and shotguns. And I asked the guy, how come you have holsters and everything else? There were no handguns. That was what the county, Westchester County, put the restriction on them. The same guy, George, that wanted to stop the gun shows, whatever, that, I forget the name of that guy, that when we went down to the Westchester Center, remember? That that same head guy that spoke up that didn't want the gun shows at, at the Westchester County Center, he put the restriction on them that uh, they're not allowed to sell any handguns at Dick's Sporting Goods, so they can only have shotguns and rifles. But they have them over the mall. Yeah. Welcome to the land of liberals control it all. Yeah. The Second Amendment does not apply in, in, in New York State. Not very well, anyway. <laughs> Especially when it comes to handguns. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, guns. It's, yeah, well, it's, it's so stupid. I mean, it, just the concept by itself is so stupid because a rifle or a shotgun can kill you just as dead as a handgun can. Okay. It, what, what what difference does it make? I mean, Probably sure. the size it's easier. Well, to conceal. sure, you can conceal a handgun, obviously, a little better than a rifle or a shotgun, but they can still they can still kill you or kill whatever, just as equal. I mean, come on, it's crazy. <laughs> Actually, I I think it's easier to take somebody out with a shotgun or a rifle. <laughs> And you got a big pattern oh, when you shoot them. I don't know. It sounds like a radio. Radio. Uh, video. It, it's people getting blown away in Brownsville right now. They're in midair. They're screaming. Yeah, but who was Are you playing? serious? Oh. Are you serious? No. Okay. Oh, I, I see not. it Jeez. missed Brownsville by a little bit. I mean, they're getting the outer, outer, outer edges. I'm just glad I'm not there. Oh, I can't imagine. Four to five days of rain. They're, they're looking at four foot of rain because it's going to be stationary. Well, it was just, what was it, back in the early, what was it, 1900s, I think, when a hurricane hit Galveston Island down there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is actually an island. It's just, it's just an island. I've been out there. I have drove all the way to where the highway ends, right there at the beach. And it totally leveled that island. Wow. There was nothing left. There was not a building standing. There wasn't a tree. There wasn't a blade of grass. Go look it up. They even had black and white pictures of it back then. And it killed thousands of people. Okay. If I, I can it, understand I why. Because I have I have actually slept on the beach in my camper uh, truck, camper trailer, whatever you want to call it. I have slept in there and listened to the waves at night. And it is always breezy down there. But when you get a storm coming in, I would not want to be sitting on that beach. Uh, the waves, the waves, and the weather 
that I watched early, early yesterday morning, which probably around three o'clock yesterday morning, watching that guy being pelted, and it would have been six back there. Um, the the dock that goes out there at Galveston, all by its, you know, out into the water, it was, God. I would say only about three feet from covering the dock and it, with the waves coming in, it was splashing over this, this wharf or dock that goes out where most people walk clear to the end and, you know, sit and visit and stuff. And that was almost 24 hours before it hit landfall. There's another insurance company just pulled out of New York a day or two ago. Oh God, what else is new? <laughs> yeah, because of Obamacare. I put the link in. Uh, it doesn't affect George. It doesn't affect any of either any of us. I guess if you have a people that have a small business and enrolled in this plan, but uh, apparently they own hospitals and stuff. This uh, fairly young company, but they were being forced to kick in millions of dollars into this pool that Obama Hair Care set up to take care of the minorities and everything else. And the company said, "We can't afford to do this." And and unless Congress fixes it, well, Congress didn't fix it. Okay, well, then we're out of here. So they pulled out of New York. Yeah, but whenever an insurance company pulls out like that, yeah, it eventually will affect everyone else. Yeah, well, I mean, I hope not. <coughs> yeah, you're right. Because now it wasn't supposed to affect Medicare at all. But right. Obamacare got in, got in, got into uh, the in, in, into Medicare as well. Yeah. Because one of the letters well, I got from Medicare clearly said <coughs> the Affordable Care Act in it. Well, it's just having the opposite effect now because the big insurance companies are pulling out of Ob Obamacare, so it's just going to spiral itself down. Okay. Yeah. It's because once the big boys pull out, these little people that the little insurance carriers that are that are being a part of Obamacare, they're going to say, "Whoa, wait a minute! The big boys are pulling out. I'm gone too." So Trump really doesn't have to get rid of it. It's going to implode on itself. It implodes. You know, there's explode and there's implosion. It's going to implode I, I on itself. I want to know why the insurance companies have quit covering eye exams. What the hell? We need our eyes. Back Money. when I had WellCare, uh, which was the uh, Medicare HMO that I had, mm -hmm. it covered eye exams, the glasses, everything in full. I didn't have to pay a copay at all. But when I lost WellCare and I had to switch to uh, Fidelis, oh, they'll 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 cover the exam. That's it. Well, see, that's what he, that was what it was out here. I, do, I don't even get eye exam coverage from Medicare or TRICARE. And it's like, uh, excuse me, uh, before I had the burden to have to buy the glasses, which usually are about $400, I said, nobody's paying for the eye exam now? What are we supposed to do, go without? I mean, it's part of preventive care. It's been, and in my been case, it's a necessity. It, it's almost, it's, it's about three and a half, almost four years since I had my eyes examined and got, and got eyeglasses. I'm on the same prescription for the last three, and well over three years. My, eyes are, my eyes are weakening. And yeah, my, these glasses just aren't cutting it. Yeah, mine aren't either. Mine are seven years out and I can't see through them anymore. I have got to have a new pair, but... Cracks, they want, I think it was 143 or 153 dollars just to look at my eyes and to go to just any old doctor off the street for 88 bucks. Uh, they're not familiar with my MS or keeping, you know, my eyes have been kept track of by one doctor. Uh, and even to switch over to another doctor that specializes in eye care. No, they don't cover just the the exam. They said something about the refractor, and I said, what the hell is a refractor? They said, well, that's where they define what your prescription is for your lens. I said, well, that's the eye exam. No, the eye exam is seeing where your eyes are at, but the actual refraction we don't cover. 
How do you know there's really a problem? You got glasses. Are the glasses working right now? My there glasses? nothing wrong. Yeah. My glasses don't work for the crap. Well, they work better than not having any on. Well, how many fingers am I holding up? None. Uh, no, they work fine. <laughs> <laughs> See? There's nothing wrong with them right there. You just had a medical test, and you proved it. <laughs> I can't read through the damn things. They're, they're progressive tree layers, and I can't read through them at any. I'm looking <clears throat> for here to, to see things. So I, uh, I, I wonder what I wonder when this is going to come back on television. In fact, I hope I hope it comes on soon. Look at this. I talked. I mentioned this the other night, but I didn't have the video handy. They're bringing roller derby back. Mm -hmm. Look at Boyd. Boyd's getting the hell bit out of him. Look, he's that being attacked. That dog is getting big in a hurry. That's not a puppy. Pup, the puppy's got the beard. Didn't does the puppy have the beard, Boyd? No. Yeah, going oh in the nose up. Oh. Yeah, he's been after that nose all night. She. She she likes you. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. Give me the beard. Give me the beard. Probably looking for leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch Roller Derby every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Well, these are some big girls, boy. Look at them. I, I don't think I want to fight with any of them. It'll last a short time and then it'll fizzle out again. Where, where's the? Uh... Oh, there we go. But guess what? They're bringing back to television. Also, what? They're bringing back. Um, what's what's it? What's that show? Um, hey. Uh. Oh, Will and Grace. shit, I can't remember the name of it now. Damn it. Uh, not Will and Grace uh, was the other one. Uh, Will and Grace. They're yeah, Will and Grace. That's Yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that is it. What am I thinking? They're bringing back Will and Grace. Oh, no kidding. Yep, they're bringing it back to television. All new stuff. If that yeah. roller derby, if that roller derby is that at all violent from time to time, it it'll uh, last. Oh, it's it it used to be pretty rough. Those girls would they smash said each they, other. They said UFC wouldn't last as long either. Look look where it look where it took off to. Yeah, but yeah, but roller derby used to be on TV and it died. Mm hmm. It died yeah, that's long. I mean, that was back in the seventies. Yeah. Oh, maybe this will be a little bit more violent and more bloody so that it'll last. That's what people want today. Yeah. Well, they want the Coliseum. <laughs> they want they want to, they want Christians given to the lions. Yeah, the way the the way the girls some of the girls are fighting today, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of bloody nose. Yeah. Uh, Ron, I just took a peek at what uh Mike put up uh on the roller derbies. Damn, there's some hefty-looking girls there. They can play football. Ron Rick is back. Hi, Ron. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, yes, I am. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Welcome mm -hmm. home. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was a short lived have little fire fire department call you. Yes. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Um. Um. Uh, it's kind of funny. Um, these people were like maybe no more than 10 feet from the parking lot at my shop. And oh. they're motor, they have a motor home and it was, they quit running. Uh huh. So, and they had no cell signal. So only one that showed up was one of the people from the fire department. He didn't have a cell phone with him, but he had his radio. So he radio dispatch and dispatch radio. <laughs> So we just threw a chain on it, drug it up in the parking lot. So there you go. Go ahead, camp. Knock yourself out. Oh, See shit. Right, so. That worked out. Yeah. I show them where the power plug, any power in the building, you know, knock yourself out. So. We'll get it in the morning, right? Yeah, the guys, well, I'm, I got to go to do a 
water line tomorrow. I can't. I won't be here for that. I'm going to go get on the backhoe. What type, what type of motorhome? Class A or Class C? I don't know. It's one of them many Ford $49 million little motorhomes. Well, well, small the, compact okay, jobs. So it's, got the, it's got the van nose on it or a pickup nose? It kind of, but no, it all goes together. It all belongs together. It's a... Oh. Oh, uh, what the fuck's that thing called? God damn it. It's not like a bus. It's not a class A. No, it's not a no, it's a it's an all season. I mean, you could use it all season, but I mean it's uh it's oh fuck. It's a micro motorhome, some shit like that, whatever you call them. Oh. And it's a pretty new one too. That's like oh well, that sucks it fucked oh. up. It's not like a, one of the big pushers which you're gonna have a pain in the ass getting into the motor. No, it's like it's like an oversized van, a swelled up oh. van. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's gonna mm. be easy. Yeah, but I don't know if it's under warranty. But anyway, the generator's working, everything's fine. But I told them there's water, you know, hook up the water side of the building. There you go, knock stuff out. Whatever they need, you know, I don't care. You don't see that very often in places like this. I'll charge you out the ass. No, I don't do that to people. <clears throat> and we take, we try to help people. I, you know, I mean, we're not cheap, but we're not expensive either. I mean, to let you know that. Yeah. But it's always like a community thing, right? Everybody helps everybody type system here. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's you know, kind of way it works. <clears throat> but they do have out-of-state tags, so I will have to charge them dearly. I do accept credit cards, debits. I take it all. I don't give a shit. <clears throat> but the boys will take care of them in the morning. Well, it's under warranty. They'll have to have it towed. You know, get a towed dealership or whatever. It's under warranty. Middle-aged couple. Seem pretty clean. You don't look like a fine fire. middle age. I'd say in her late forties. That's middle age. Yeah, ain't it? No. You're pretty well dead at the age of forty nowadays. I mean, shit. Oh, no, we're living to our 90s. Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for the planet. If I'm alive till I'm 90, they're fucked. You're a walking, uh, zo you're a walking zombie when you reach 50, so join the crowd. I hope God's, li I hope God's listening to you, Julie. I hope God's <clears> listening <throat> about what? Living till I'm 90? Yeah. Oh, I, I'm not going to, but medically speaking... We are living longer. Middle age used to be a lot, a lot lower, but now we're living into our nineties. Good that there's barking under there. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Damn it! I am the exclusion. Hope these people don't mind me. I'm looking at the shop cameras. Now I'm looking at the motorhome, trying to figure out what it's called. <laughs> Were they Jewish? I I don't know. Well, then you know right away it's a Winnebago. We'll find out tomorrow when they bitch about the bill. If, if it's a Winnebago, then they're Jewish. Well, I'm not, so I'm looking for I'm trying to wait for the cameras. The camera to zoom in on it a little bit. I gotta turn on infrared so we can see it. Okay. What are you are, motherfucker? What do you got you there? A spy cam? <laughs> I got cameras on everything I own. There's a guy look inside the shop. I can look at, I can look from my phone. Oh, I'm I look in inside the shop. Smile, you're on candy camera. My house, my property, everywhere. Oh, I can't see well, the light. But that hurricane looks wicked. I'm looking at the, the new picture they got put up of it. Oh, my God. It looks like the world's on fire. <clears throat> well, 
Like I said, it's going to get anywhere from 30 to 40 inches of rain by Monday. I think they said it was possible tornadoes when them rain bands spin up them tornadoes and everything. Sheesh. That's, they said that today and that when that reporter was doing his thing, they, they interrupted him and told him that there was a tornado touchdown or uh, warning for right where they were at. So he had to get back inside. U.S. Black. This camper is a 2017 Winnebago Touring Coach. Must be a new one. Damn. Yeah, 2017. <clears throat> I just copied a picture and looked at it. What are you worth, motherfucker? 300000 400000 I'm guessing. Let's see that type of truck. It's a Winnebago Touring Coach Travio. T-R-A-V-A-T-O. Class B. Class B. Mm-hmm. Would they start a new category or something in between now? Uh, yeah, there's a Class B, C, and D motor or campers, man. So no oh, shit. It, the A Class A has always been the buses, the large one piece. Yeah, like the Bounders and all that shit, the Vogues. Right. You know, I never. I mean, when I owned mine, we never heard of a Class B. We never saw a Class B. <laughs> Unless, I don't know what the hell that is. The Class C always had the van nose or a truck nose on it, and then they built the chassis behind it. Mine was a Class C. I had a mobile traveler, 28 footer. Well, check out the estimated value of this little motherfucker. 100 grand. Yep. Jesus Christ. <coughs> oh, but wow. dang, I didn't know that. Trump did go ahead and pardon the sheriff. Yeah, we said that. Yeah, earlier. Well, yeah, I, I knew when I listened to uh, the sheriff last night, he, he said one way or another he was still supporting the president, but there hadn't been a, I hadn't heard anything since then. Oh. This, that thing's got Kansas City plates on it. Or Kansas plates. They're of Kansas. Yeah. They're harmless. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that something? $100,000 for that fucking thing? There ain't no way. <clears throat> ain't that big. Oh, it's got a generator in it and everything else. So oh, it's got everything. They charge thing. you. Yeah, oh, they yeah. charge you for it. But, I mean, I, the, the inside pictures what I'm looking at online is pretty nice. But it's awful small, man, for that kind of money. That kind of money should have a big-ass fucking motor home for that. <clears throat> well, those big motor homes today are three hundred, four, five hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. 500000 800000 Oh, yeah. Look at what yeah. yours was. Yeah, yours wasn't cheap. That's no hundred thousand dollar puppy. No, that but that one ain't it ain't. But it's you know it's an RV, but it's not a. Uh, I guess you can consider it a motorhome in a way, but but it's an all terrain vehicle. It's I mean this thing's made to go anywhere. It just you know, <coughs> yeah. I mean it's more self contained. The self contained is you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean the toilet, the shit box in that thing is a fucking cartridge. You pull out the side of it. You know your wastewater. Yeah. Or you can hook, hook it up from the bottom. There's a door you open up and you hook right directly to the sewer system. Yeah. You know, your water, sewer, electric, all that. But it's got, you know, solar panels, a wind, ter- wind generator on it. Um, you know. And it's, that's cool as shit. The, the wind generator collapses into the roof. You know, it's automatic. You press the button. Boom, it sucks itself back into the top. Don't even know it's there. <clears throat> And of course, you can't use unless you're sitting. You can't do. You can't have it running while you're driving. You know, you will burn it up. I, I think the military needs to do a recall on their Black Hawk and take a look at it. They just had another crash. That's three or four this year. Uh, considering how many thousands of flights they have. Crashed off the coast of Yemen. Jeez. That's a lot. That's 
nobody follows football is just going to say Patriots are in a bad way. They just lost their go-to man tonight in a preseason game. Here you go, Mike. I found you. I found you a new home that you can get out of York and carry all your shit. <clears throat> it's a 2004 Monaco Dynasty RV. Yeah. Just just reduced the price to 126,000. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, it's a 2004 Monaco Dynasty RV. That's an old one. Woo. Yeah, they want 126 grand for it. It's a bus. It's an actual fucking yeah. bus. Yeah. That's what I say. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. I'm comparing it to you know that little fucking thing for 100 grand for that yeah. little. It's half the size of that this fucking big bus here. You know. Fuck. Oh shit. I can't even remember my old bus out there. What the fuck the name of that thing's called? It ain't worth a fuck. No motor's gone in it, but I still got it. It's got new tires and batteries in it. Been sitting for about fucking five, five six years. It's got a big gas. It's a gas drinker or gas pusher. You know? Yep. Brady has a bad year. He's going to blame it on Idleman. What? What? You got your the speakers Patriots. back up, Julie. Huh? Your monitors are back. You turn your monitors back up again, Julie. I turned them back up. What are you talking about? I didn't touch nothing. Oh, we heard the echo again. I thought it was you. Mm. Uh, you might have heard me slam the the mouse down because Brady has a bad ear. It's because his. <clears throat> His wide receiver is out the year with an ACL tear. Uh, okay, I have no idea wh who you were talking about just a moment ago. Julie, uh, Ju Julian Edelman. Uh, and he is? My point exactly. Wide receiver for the Patriots. Oh. Oh. And Brady, the golden boy... For football, the hero, the icon, whatever you want to call him, if he has a bad year, he's going to blame it on I, God. Who God bless anybody that's on his on the Patriots team with Brady. Jesus, he's picky. You and me. This man is obsessed with football. He's going to play until he's in his fifties. He is one person that sleeps in a hyperbaric chamber. <laughs> Uh, good luck to him. Brady? He can have it. I had enough of that shit. Two yeah, hours a day was too much for me. It, what gets me about anything like this, it doesn't even have to be footballs, when you've got somebody that, uh, uh, Tiger Woods or anybody that, that has this golden boy image, and then all of a sudden they have a slide back because... They don't have the right club or they don't have the right receiver. It's everybody's fault but their own. And that's not playing as a team. That's playing Look, as I'll put it to you like this, okay? It's real simple. When you've got high priced ball players, high priced golf golf play golf uh, golf pros when you've got anybody that's a high priced professional uh, it's like really okay these ball players in baseball for example they get millions of dollars to go out there and run around like kids whatever happened to play you know to the to, to, to the love of the game it's not the love of the game that they're playing for. It's the love of the money they're playing for. And then, of course, that same thing applies with football. you got people out there playing football, and then they get a political hair up their fucking twat, and they sit there and they, 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 they sit down or kneel down during the national anthem as if, oh, it's time to make a political statement. It's time to make a political statement because we get paid good money to sit on our ass and act like assholes. Hey, 
know, you know, there's a couple that's been doing that this year, George, but I think that they're going to get slapped. It's more than a couple, honey, hard. I hate to tell you. What? There's like four or five like of them four. now they are doing it. They have done it, but and they're, they're still continuing change. to do it. We, we haven't even started the season yet, George. Give them a minute. The Cowboys, or the Cowboys flat out said, you don't scan for the anthem. You're not playing for the team. You're out. They, they didn't give them a choice. Now, we've got that some was, up on this end. That was the owner that came out today and said it, right? Right, I think so. Yeah. But what I'm watching at the same, at the same time is uh, uh, I saw something with the NAACP or whatever. Uh, anyway, they're knocking heads with the NFL because the NFL wants to make the change. You don't, you don't uh, stand for the anthem and, and you want to trash uh, the anthem and the flag. You don't play football. No. They, I mean, there's there's been too many people, high profile people, even that spoke out. Besides our military, uh, there's there's football uh, well, and it's baseball. It's like I said before. If and the there owners... is politicians, and the uh, two do not belong on the same field. Uh, uh, here's a joke. It's it's not real. It's from Duffel Blog, but it's about in Afghanistan. Uh, it, it is pretty funny though. One of the soldiers had it posted, and uh, it's in the FFNOP chat room. <laughs> it is pretty funny. Uh, military related. Kill 51. <laughs> I'll read it. I'll read it for you. So that we, it says, Afghanistan, in a tragic accident earlier today, aircraft belonging to the International Security Assistance Force inadvertently killed 51 Afghans near the city of Mazar-e-Sharif while attempting to drop candy to a group of children. According to accounts from both Afghan and international observers, two NATO aircraft, later identified as American C-130s, made a low pass over a village of several hundred Afghans outside the city, approximately 1.4 million M&Ms were to be delivered via container delivery system in a single package with a weight of 1,500 pounds. Due to a malfunction in the static line, the chute failed to deploy and the container crushed through the roof of a local school at 100 miles an hour. Upon impact, the force of the rapidly settling candy caused the sides to explode outward, causing what uh, physics professor Schwartz described as essentially a 360-degree anti-personnel mine of chocolate flechettes. By flechettes, Schwartz is referring to M&M candy shells which shattered and spalled upon en entering the bodies of victims and also caused numerous and secondary injuries. Uh, oh, Dr. Man. Velez of the Red Cross, one of the first medical personnel on the site of the impact, had a similar assessment of the candy shells' damage. I've seen a lot of image, uh, injuries inflicted on civilians by military ordnance, but this was much worse. Velez said, stooping to change the bandages on one of the victims while pointing out many blue, green, and yellow splotches. The worst were the peanut M&Ms. The soft chocolate acted as a sabot around the peanuts, so basically these things were candy-covered penetrator rounds. Uh, ISAF spokesman Colonel Mark Marshall, who spoke to reporters today at the press conference in Kabul, said that Candy Drop was only the latest phase of a new operation called Reese's for Pieces, and added that while ISAF regrets the accidental loss of, of civilian life, it would not deter them from working to relieve the suffering Afghanistan people. It goes on. It's pretty fucking funny. Because they write the stuff up, they make it sound like it's real. You know, it's like a real yeah, press yeah. relief. That's yeah, good. Reese's for Pieces. That's pretty some funny shit. Uh, oh, hmm. God. Uh, that's what you call sensationalism. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. And this one's in Houston. I don't know when this happened. Somebody put this on. Gunslinger. Five years ago. Was it? Mm-hmm. Wow. I never saw that one before. I don't know what he was doing with his dump thing up on his truck when he was driving on the highway, but that cost him, huh? Damn. What a mess. Yeah, well, I, think, I think I remember that. Yeah, down in Houston. Yeah? Wow. I, 
Hey, some crazy ass drivers down there in Houston. Yeah, I guarantee it. <clears throat> I thought Dallas drivers was crazy. Jeez. Houston, they take the cake. I'm, t- I'm telling you. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Uh, well, guys, it seems like things are slow, so I'm going to call it a night and take off, and I'll, I'll talk to you all later. Yeah. Well, I'll sleep right here. Yeah, and uh, Tony, tomorrow, if you can come over at 3, and we'll get out of here at 3.30. 3.30? Alright, say again, I had it on... uh... Yeah, if you can come over over tomorrow at 3. Alright, 3. We're we're doing that thing over at West Point tomorrow, so we're going to have, by the time we drive over there... That's early enough? 3? Yeah, yeah. So okay. we should be fine. Um, I had no problem. Got some fun over the over West Point, huh? Yeah, they got a. It's a big event. They do it every year. It's uh, on Constitution Island. They take people over to the island by. Remember I showed you the story of that. The yeah, you the two sisters that owned that house. Year. Right. Yeah, we do it every year. We feed them again. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice event with the reenactors. Yeah, last year was pretty good. Uh, it's it's interesting. I mean, I but if it's really warm tomorrow, these guys are wearing Revolutionary War uh, uh, costumes, period style costumes, and those things are all wool. Yeah, so they're, they're going to be sweating their asses off, especially the British officers. They're in full blown, like what you see from history books. I, uh, you know, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say. Remember the British guy? Yeah. Yeah, with the horses and uh, yeah. That's they. They got They can't be comfortable. There's no way. So if it's really hot, then those guys are gonna be miserable. Yeah, it's just a uh, shame. I can't. I can't get down there. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be able to cover this event. Yeah, I wish. I wish there was a way. It was closer, but. Uh, it's it's far. No, after the after their day's work, they say, Where, "Where's the Samuel Adams?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good picture, though. Remember that? All the British officers holding Samuel Adams up. You guys yeah, work. I'm crashing. All right, all right, Boyd. Everybody, we'll talk to you later on. You have a great night. All um, right, Mike. Behave we'll yourself. See you, see you later, Ron. Are you doing a show tomorrow, Ron? Yeah, I should be. I was going to do it at night, but hopefully I have enough nap in tomorrow. I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have a show. I All will right. do it. All right. All right we'll man. see everybody tomorrow. All right. All right talk to you, talk All right. to you everybody later. All right. Bye. 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 All right. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was 3 o'clock. Uh, yeah, yeah, fella. Yeah, everybody, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I didn't know. Time flies. I didn't know it was 3 a.m. already. Nice talking, everybody. I'll talk to you tomorrow night if you're on. All right, thanks. All right. I missed that yesterday, so. Well, it's over when it's over, I guess. I'll have a good one. All right, talk to you later. Okay, bye. And that'll do it for this edition of Firefox News Online. I'm George Sinzer, and for the comments I've made, that's the way it is from my perspective. Y'all be good. If you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful, eh, the hell with it. And as soon as I can track down the proper clothes here, we'll be good to go. Come on. Scroll, scroll, there we go. Now let's see here. Of course not. Every day the same thing. Try and find the right thing and can't find the right thing because the right thing ain't there where you want it.
Closing title sequence, not the right one. Ah, here it is. I think. Thank you for tuning in to Firefox News Online here on Mixler.com. Be sure to join us on our regular broadcast on blogtalkradio.com slash firefoxnews-online every Monday through Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Firefox News Online is a production of Firefox News Online Productions. Any rebroadcast, transcript, either in whole or in part, without the express written permission of Firefox News Online Productions and its owner, is expressly forbidden. Copyright 2017. All rights reserved. Firefox News Online. Fair, balanced, and always responsible.